Hey, oh, folks. Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello. How y'all doing? Oh, I'm excited. I miss days where I'm just not playing this. Like, I was kind of sad yesterday. This is like, oh man, there's no Zelda. <laughs> we're back! Uh, welcome back to day five now of playing Tears of the Kingdom. We are desperately still trying to not die. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to everyone at subbing, because Jesus Christ, there was a lot of you just there. Gary, and thank you for the ten gift subs as well. Like, holy shit, guys. Yeah, there's been just a lot of people back-to-back -back subbing. Um, little cheeky note there for yourselves, too. We got new sub badges. Wolves, he's been hired at work uh, as ever with just new art assets and a fresh coat of paint for the entire channel. Um, the old sub badges were basically the letters art T with different colors. Uh, we've kind of based them on the life cycle of a star and a black hole. And I hope people like them. They go all the ways up to eight years. The, I think the furthest along you'll see is like what Mr. Disco's there of like five years where it's like a big inferno. Um, I, I thought, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fun. I hope people like them. Again, shout out to Wolfsey as ever. She's been doing an amazing job. Also, there's a ham emote now. You just have it. Uh, thank you very much, Catwin, for making that. Ham is here. You have a dedicated ham emote. <laughs> Oh, with a bit of luck, we might get a Korok on a cross soon. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, ham has been acquired. So, hope you guys like the new badges. Hope you guys like the new ham emote. Uh, we'll try and get more as time goes on, too. Does Twitch allow crucifixion? I don't think they've had to address that in the terms of service. You know, it's that's a hell of a loaded question. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't have the answer. A long stick emote. Oh, that's genius. Just have one that's a stick, and then if you post it a few times, it becomes a longer. Okay, all right, cat. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to you after the stream. Yeah, that's perfect. That's actually. Fits so well. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll iron out some details for that and how that might look. But uh, yeah, I think that that sounds great. <laughs> you just need one emote, and you can use it forever. Oh Jesus, Surge Line! Thank you for the eleven hundred bits. No, eleven thousand bits. Hey, RT, just got the game today. Can't wait to watch the YouTube video later on. Keep up the fine work. Thank you so much. Jesus. It's very kind of you. I hope you enjoy it. But, like, hands down, like, this is... This is my favorite game now. Like, this is just better Breath of the Wild for me. Um, I'd absolutely recommend people playing it. If you ever put off, like, Breath of the Wild, I think this fixes a lot of, like, the... Issues that some people might have even had with it. Like, things like mundane climbing, things like... I don't know, I mean, Breath of the Wild has a lot going for it still. But like, even like weapon durability and that, and this game is just more fun. And you know, if you like Fortnite, this game draws a lot of inspiration from there. You know, if you want to get the Victory Royale in the Kingdom of Hyrule, you're a Genshin Impact player. If you love raiding your Shadow Legends, a lot of inspiration pulled. Oh, Jesus. I'm so old. Leo, thank you, thank you for 10 gift subs as well. Jesus Christ, guys, with the subs and the bits. Thank you so much. Swordman, thank you for a thousand bits as well. Have you ever thought about streaming old Pokemon games like Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness? I have. I got a setup for, like, streaming GameCube stuff that just broke. It was like an adapter thing. Um, so honestly, the best way to probably do that is just emulation. <laughs> hey, Nintendo, how you doing? But it's true. You know, if you're not going to make your games available, we got to do it somehow. Um, <laughs> I own them. I have copies of them. I tried with the disc, but here we are. Maybe someday. Oh, God. Do you have to play Breath of the Wild to play this one? No, not really. 
There are, of course, obvious hints and, like, bits to Breath of the Wild. It's the same world there. But you can just go in blind. Um, you, you arguably do not need it. This is, like, self-contained. New sub-badges. How's it going, Peach? Yep, we have new sub-badges. We're getting a, a brand new coat of paint on everything, and I'm very happy with them. I think it all looks just really fresh. I hope people enjoy the style of it and that, too. Um, and, hey, maybe in, like, two years you can see the black hole sub-badge. Because it's going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a while before anyone can get that. It goes all the way up to eight years. A fun fact, Twitch actually adds sub-badge support as time goes on. Um, like, I can upload one for, like, ten years now. But, it's I mean, it's physically going to take so long. It's going to be a long time before you can even see those slots. Can't wait for the next three years. Okay. Stop the epic main theme music. We're going to gear on up. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the bits and subs again. Like, jeez, that's a hell of a hype train. Like, thank you so much. I, you, I haven't even started the stream yet. I really hope people are enjoying Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I really hope people are enjoying the highlights on YouTube as well. Uh, much love as ever to Chloe. Uh, Chloe's been doing a phenomenal job at, like, kind of turning those streams into, like, digestible videos. So, like, uh, you know, if you miss, like, me playing the game for eight hours, here it is here it is all in an hour. Um, uh, I, you know, like, Chloe's, Chloe's amazing at what she does. I hope people are enjoying the content. Horrors are about to begin. I don't think there's going to be any... Well, no, there's going to be horrors. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's a slight... Hang on, there's a slight delay. I think I fixed it now. Yep. That's in sync, yep. Yeah. It just desyncs sometimes. Uh, Jesus Christ, welcome back to the Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, thank God I didn't have anything metal on me in the background. That could have gone really badly. I could have just died. Okay. I've been doing a little explore as ever. Uh, in my off stream time, I did a little round trip around the forest here. There's a tower that I marked here that we're going to explore. We have some more shrines to unlock. Uh, I solved the white bird side quest. It was actually kind of a sweet one. Um, I, cause I, I wasn't sure how long this one would even take to try and figure out on stream. Oh, Jesus, sheep. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Jesus Christ. You're all too, being too good to me today. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the bits and subs. It's, it's incredibly kind. I, I figured out the white bird one. It's basically, if you actually stand on the perch, there's a white bird in the snow. Um, and it's how you kind of spot it. It's just the geography. And then there's a cave entrance, and it's like, hey, shrine. Um, so I went and got that. I talked to someone who marked some treasure spots on the map, too. Apparently there's a shock-resistant outfit here. And then there's, like, powerful outfit here. Misko's treasure. We had this hinted at by another vendor in the game, uh, earlier. And I just- I just did a little wander more than anything else. I just trying to kind of pick up a few odds and ends. Uh, I got a little bit of ore from, like, kind of going in the underground. I found a vendor for cannons. Oh, that, that's a big one that I should actually mention. So, it turns out we missed, like, a capsule machine here. Uh, next to this shrine. We did this last time. It dispenses cannons. Uh, this has given me a fantastic idea where I think if we engineer the shit out of this, we might be able to defeat King Gliok today. Uh, we're gonna need a bit of preparation. We need to get more power and batteries than anything. But I think it's possible. Now that we have cannons, and I've got an idea for contraption we can make. If we then use the rebuild tool, we can reassemble this contraption and possibly fight him. A tank. Well, no, because we're going to be in the sky, remember. Um, but I have a plan. We're going to see if we can execute that plan by the end of today's stream. We're also going to see if we can go into this storm area. I also want to see about going into the Great Plateau and finally getting the fucking tower for this area. Um, because, like, it's, it's kind of horrendous just how unmapped this is. We're gonna get the tower for up here, too. And we're gonna also do a bunch of shrines, basically, to start the day once again. Um, so let's start by just getting the towers and, like, just marking them off. 
Actually, no, no, wait, we no, we should do Great Plateau and help the Big Po. Help the Big Po. Okay, I'll do that first, and then we'll go back and do the shrines, okay? We'll do that. Yeah, we'll explore a new area to start. I think that would be a nicer kind of progression. Not getting sidetracked. This is part of the plan, so you're not allowed to say it, right? Okay, we can get up to the Great Plateau from this tower as well, so this is like a two-on-one. He will send a Korok to the moon and get distracted. There is, like, a moon structure in the sky that I really do want to send a Korok up to. <laughs> I have some more ideas for what we could do for devices. The fact that we have the rebuild tool means that we have so many more possibilities for what we can actually create. Because we can just, like, magic it up on the fly. And, like, get to where we need to be. If this tower, for whatever reason, they constructed it next to, like, a goblin encampment. Not really sure what's going on. Oh, it's just a thunderstorm, so let's, let's go into the sky. I'm sure this is perfectly safe. Get a bunch of, like, electrical equipment on us. Just a long metal cable. Just catapult us away here. Link's about to get, like, zapped with lightning. Yeah, scan the area. This seems like a good permadeath idea. This is the second tower I got. Like, that's the thing. Like, like this is like... We should have got this way earlier. We've done, like, most of the shrines in this area. Or, like, I think, like, the Great Plateau area. I think I've, like, combed a lot of it. But we finally have it marked. So, like, there, there we go. Look at that. Incredible. Bunch of Sky Islands, too. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of an explore of these existing areas. Um... Islands are just over here. Just makes me nervous falling through the sky. My biggest fear is, like, my controller somehow dies and I just plummet to my dash, like, uncontrollably. Already getting distracted. No, this is this is along the way. This is along the way. We're sticking to the areas we set out today. It's golden apples on these trees. It's cool. I hate when he dives like that. <laughs> like, Link, you're gonna give me like an anxiety attack. When are you going to get the froggy armor? Uh, we'll circle back to the froggy armor later. The froggy armor seems to be just a lot of side quests that we need to do. We will get back to that. I think, like, the priority that we always want to kind of go for first is actually just getting to the shrines, because the shrine shrines help us live longer. Basically. So, you know, it's always, like, the thing we should be striving to do. This feels like a big Korok place. Yeah, I wonder what's going on here. This seems like there should be something here. Something in the water? No. Uh, there's the means to kind of craft something here. I'm surprised it's not giving us, like, any tools to use with it. Even have, like, kind of like a launch site for, like, a bird. Okay, well, uh, I mean, I can think of one way that we get over to the next area. It is over here, yeah? Yeah, it is. Look up. Uh, I mean, there's a starting island there. I see that. Oh, wait, no, they did leave some rockets for us. Perfect. Oh, well, they thought about it. Okay. Let's once again just cello tape these to our craft. Take us away.
I'm like almost not as scared when we just catapult ourselves with these rockets anymore. It's become like so routine. Jeez, oh, I don't like him though. Snipe him off that. There's more rockets here. I love it when games let you solve your problems your own way. I mean, like, this game seems to be the embodiment of, uh, like, more so than Breath of the Wild ever was. There's such, like, the systems are, like, ultra handed, like, rewind and shit. Like, there's so much you can just do now. Like, I kind of love it. Uh, okay, I can get... Now, there's a rocket platform there, but I can also just descend on this, I think. Just jump on into the island. First time catching the stream, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How's it going? I feel like you haven't used recall to its full potential yet. Jesus! It's, it's definitely the one I, I, I need to come to terms with more. We, we've definitely got fuse down. We've definitely got ultra hand down. According to the highlights uh, on the latest like YouTube video, like a lot of people were shocked that, like for the... Minecraft golem boss that you can actually just ultra hand the cube out of him. Apparently people did not know that. Uh, which is which is just cool, because like, I, I, like, we've been using that so much that like, we didn't even think twice about it. A lot of people just started like shooting the cube and tried to knock it out that way. Whereas we would just like, grab it. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta make it to the next island. Um... Yeah, I mean, what I can do... Is if I have one go up... And then one go sideways... Hopefully that's enough strength. <laughs> oh, good God, I don't like that! Oh, I don't like that! <laughs> All right, well, all right, it'll settle. <laughs> it's a little higher than we thought it would be. <laughs> That's a little higher. Oh, no. Uh, okay, yeah, it's like the islands that we want are down there. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that works a little too cleanly. I'm not just gonna dive into the pool because... Just in case, like, the water's, like, missing. There's no depth or something. Take him out. God, they really want us to visit this area earlier. Like, even judging by the tools they have. It's just a stone axe. This guy is just trying to exist. <laughs> Link's just like, I'm gonna annihilate ya. Materials. There'll be more materials. Phil, thank you for another 2,000 bits. Thank you very much. Um, haven't checked the P.O. box just yet. It, it should have... Um, normally if it's mailing stuff to the P.O. box, it's like... People can pay customs before it ships, I believe. I will double check it, though. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm due the hop down, like, next week. Thanks for bearing with me there. Uh, thanks for everyone bearing with me on the P.O. box front and that, too. We're still gonna- we're probably just gonna have a stream at some point where we just go through it all. I think that'll be, like, the nicest way to do it. I need to enlist a bit of help just even going through it all. <laughs> the last time you checked the P.O. box, I- I check it every month. So, uh, anything that, like, kind of gets sent there, like, I get it out of there. It's just, like, trying to find a way to kind of, like, get back to people and thank them properly. It's, like, the main thing that, like, I want to do, and I'm kind of holding off. Give him my thanks properly until then, you know? I want to do it right. I hope that's understandable, though. Uh, yeah, I don't- I'm, I'm trying to work out how I... I can recall it. Just recall it, get the chest. A sage's will? Is there another, like, MacGuffin that you need to collect? 
The remnants of a former sage's resolve. You gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue. You can deepen your connection with the sages. Does that threaten Tulin? Oh, that's really cool if it does. We probably want that just because, like, he's like here as our companion. I mean, that's like another piece of heart system. I'm shocked there's another thing for me to collect after all this time. Okay, hold this open a while. Uh, that one does not seem to have drained as much. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if I can, like, drain both of them at the same time? Maybe the water just falls out. No? Oh, wait, no, it's giving me, like, a log. It wants me to get it stuck or something. Hang on. Okay, I, I think I see it. can wedge this one. Come on, rewind. Buddy? Buddy, you good? Okay, do that. Rewind it. Get this object. Attach. So now, even if I unrewind it, that keeps it in place. Uh, now I need to find something to get this second one stuck as well. Uh, I can I can go chop down a tree. What have I got for for chopping? Uh, we have a knight's broadsword. We can do something on this. Don't always want to use like the most valuable like part. Make like a blade that like will pierce the heavens. So we'll just use we'll just use this. Otherwise, we just need a sword. Although it is funny to make like the ultimate weapon. Here we go. Yeah. So let's get this. And now we're going to do the same thing again. So, raise. Just for a moment. Recall it. Get this. No, it's not quite wedged. Yeah, okay, alright. Awkward maneuver to get these. There must be an easier way to do this. I reckon there is. I'm just like not seeing it. Okay, there we go. If we're lucky, this has completely destroyed the fish population. Nice. 
crowd population is actually in danger. There's just a magic rod up here. That is insane. This is like one of the most powerful like magic items in the game. Just pop a sapphire on that. We have another one of these now. That's so good. Not worth it? Did, have you guys did you not remember how this like single-handedly saved us? When we were against the final boss. Like, that's insane. That's such a good find. Lame reward. Oh, maybe, maybe you're lame. Gotcha. Sure showed you. Don't make fun of my weapon. Banned for cyberbullying. Okay, here, this on up here. Uh, I think here it just wants us to build like a simple fan uh, glider. The one part that I want to get more than anything is a steering wheel. It's something that we just don't have access to in the machines. I think it would help because it would let us like kind of command a lot of crafts better. It's so nice that we have battery now. Let's, uh, let's park ourselves here. Oh, there is a shrine up here. Let's see what we got in the capsule machine. Maybe this one has steering wheels. I, I used quite a few of our capsules um, to get some parts earlier. I, I We actually haven't done this yet. Five of these, wasn't it? People really want me to try this. This is a lot of battery power, but we're going to do it once, okay? Okay, what does this give us? Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> Jesus. The game is lagging after that. Oh my god! They're still falling. Oh, this gave us rockets too. That's actually insane. This is a good one to use it on. Okay, so we now have 24 rockets, 34 time bombs. Got 12 wheels. That's pretty good. Jackpot. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. If we were, like, really low on supplies, then, like, that's something we can do. I need to activate this shrine so that it'll show me where the crystal is. Okay, we're gonna take it. We're gonna do a bit of an explore here. Get to the Great Plateau. Do shrines along the way. We'll do a bit of a shrine run, then. And then my plan is to get back to the underground and actually find... I... I sorry, I wanna... Wanna map Great Plateau. Do that area. I want to go to the shrines. I want to go to that storm. Quite a bit I want to do. And then maybe if we have time, I want to do Koga as well and get some more battery power for my plan I have against this dragon. Well, speaking of, there's another one up there. He's pretty high. Okay, so I gotta turn it around like that. I need to get over there. Uh, I mean, I feel like this is another recall one. That was how we solved it before. If I can just like, keep this spitting. 
I should be able to get across. I'm gonna just wind it up for a while. Wait, has it got... Oh, no, it's got side... Okay, right, that was all pointless. <laughs> Never mind. I just, I was looking at it, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> it is, this is way easier. <laughs> Look, you weren't getting that time back, back in your life anyway, right? Ooh, hearty radish, that's good. It's uh, more full healing items. Is this what happens when you stub your toe? Apparently my brain cells were all located in my toe. Oh, there's like a bit of treasure down there. Do you see that dangling? I want that. Hang on, let's just drop this off. So it's like on the underside of this. No, I... Oh, I got stuck. Hang on. Okay, let's see if we can get it out of here. I can think of one way to get it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Another old man. This will point out somewhere underground where there's something of interest for us. We can check that out. I think Koga is off that way anyway. Oh no, I can't ascend. Am I too close? Rocket. I don't think a rocket's going to help us in that scenario. <laughs> the rocket, while oftentimes the solution, isn't always the answer. Oh, I, I can't get this can open in the kitchen. I've got a way to open it. Stand back. The answer is obviously a long stick. Got it wrong. Parents getting a divorce rocket. <laughs> We're going to the moon. Uh, I just need to open a window here because it's very warm today. Give me one sec, gang. Yeah, getting robbed rocket. Uh, I mean, that uh, might stop it. <laughs> if you just like... Launches like a craft for them. Oh, I'll take another diamond. I need one more of those and I can get the special bow. If I can get the special bow before I fight the dragon, that would actually be amazing. Rockets are the solution to anything. I don't know. Yeah, we need to get more pieces of heart, too. I might get one bit of extra stamina. I'm gonna get them all first, and then see how we're doing, like, heart-wise. 
and maybe we can get some stamina along the way. I have 15 pieces of heart at the moment. Is there like 15 hearts or 20 in a line? Uh, now, gang, you can help me out here, chat. I, I, I don't mind knowing. Is there 20 per line? How, how? It's 15. How many hearts is there total? So you can get 40 hearts. Bit no, 15 in a line. There's 30 total. Okay. So I'm at the halfway of hearts, am I? I want to just count them there. Yeah, I'm at the halfway point. No, it's 20 in a line. I can only have 18 hearts in this on one line. Okay, so it must be 40 hearts then. Alright, so there's more of them in this one. Okay, uh, there is... A combat arena down here? Something below us. We're just randomly guessing. Oh, there's a construct down here. Let's go. Let's get him. Mind the sneaky ledge. Actually, we could use the sneaky ledge. It'd be very sneaky. No, nope, he's not having that. Just gonna take like his treasure chest. Okay, he's he's pretty high up this time. Tulin's just like going for him. I guess I'm gonna need to use these ledges. I <laughs> could have been bad. We could have fallen a lot further there. He's so high up. They come down already, bud. Can't even reach it. The man's just like spilling his Legos everywhere. It's time for a rocket. It might be. I don't. I don't. I, all my equipment is broken. Apparently, I only have eight arrows. That's really bad. Up on. It's Commodarinus. Okay, now we just gotta pull them out. There he is. Oh, thank you for the raid. Hang on. <laughs> I don't like how he just jumps to you. Pick him apart. Yeah, we got him. That was like a bit of a scarier fight than even the Mark III, I thought. I don't know why, like him being like so high up. He's a small wheel. <laughs> like, this, congratulations. Question, do you think a grinder like that is any good on a shield? What do we think that's going to do on a shield? I don't think it is, yeah. I don't think it really is. Um, I can pop it on the Far Spear's 
Dweller's Spear. Um... Sure. <laughs> Little jabby shield. Little spear. Let's take it. What else did he have? This was like glued to him. He was really protective of this map. That's miles away. Woo, more sidetracking. You know it. No, we're actually, actually on objective at the moment. Like, we're exploring this area a bit. Doing shrines here. We get to the Poe. Yep, he's down below. Is something higher up here? Giving it a lot of balloons. There is a ledge, but it's all the way over there. I like surely not that. Like that's, that seems so far. Maybe this is just to get up to where we just were. Actually, a lot of islands in this area. It's hard to it's hard to see everything. Like you got to look like down below you a lot too. It's one of those, like, kind of flower-shaped islands. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to, like, plummet to the world below from here. We're, we're just over the Great Plateau, it seems, too. This whole game is surely not, but actually, yes. <laughs> There's no way. It's like, oh yeah, says Mr. Miyamoto. There's a way. Yeah, if I jump off on this side, this will get me to the Great Plateau. It just feels like such a waste, because there's so many batteries and shit here. Wait, there is something really high above us. I don't know if that's even on the map. It is. It's really high up. Okay, hang on. Alright, we can we can fashion the craft. I'm gonna need all these batteries. Pop them on like somewhere. Pop that there. Uh, maybe I should move the flamethrower away from the batteries. That seems like a bad combination. <laughs> it just does. Fasten that there. Put this in the corner too. It's because it's really gonna annoy someone otherwise. Fasten that, just ladder on glue there. Behold my flying machine. <laughs> Okay, now can I actually just save this design? I think I can. So now if later I just want to be, hey, I want to build this giant monstrosity. 160. <laughs> it really lets you save anything. Hey, you can save the block. 
Saving the block on its own might actually be a good idea. Okay, I got an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna just sellotape an apple. That's my creation now, right? Now in my history... <laughs> It's gonna show up, it's like, yeah, you made that. The block straight up costs a hundred, so it's very expensive. Okay, alright, well, I guess we're... We're going to the heavens, gang. This is so high up. Like, this is gonna take a while. This is a commute. You see the battery juice just draining. It's actually cool, like, it's even physically represented on the battery. Look at that. <laughs> we could use a little more juice! <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 hang on, there it is, hang on. I need to stop. God, we're so high up. I, I, I can't make the craft any lower, unfortunately. Where was the moon? It was like a spherical moon or something that was like in the world. Did anyone see it? It's up there. Like, there's, like, presumably the Death Star or something. <laughs> I kind of want to get to that, but it's also, like, so unbelievably far away. Okay. Gotta be something good here. Another treasure map, sure. That's that's so far away from everything. Okay, and what kind of stone does this give? Rock hammer. I love flint. Every time I find one of these, I'm like, God, if only I had some more flint on my person. Actually seems to be some luminous stone though too, so this, this is pretty good. Stop up a bit. I can't tell. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> no, I just, I'm just really excited to have more flint. Do you know me? Call me Sparky, because that's what the flint does. Best material. Do I know you? No. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay. Um... Oh, part of me just wants to go check out the moon, but it's so far away. I don't think- our craft won't survive that long, will it? There's no way. I'd be shocked. Yeah, like, I think the best way to access that is uh, go get into the sky, like, on a closer ledge like that or something. It's not gonna make it that far. <laughs> With enough rockets. No, we don't- we don't have a core rock to send to the moon currently, too. That's the, that's the real issue. 
It, it, it cannot be done. Sad day. Okay, but we do need to get back down to the Great Plateau. Just like directly below us. Great Plateau seems to have seen better days. It's like a big ravine in it now. Several portals to hell on this place. There's a temple of time. Oh, look at this. That's not a room. Oh, it's no, it's the lake. I remember this. Great plateau. Okay, let's start from the mountains just while we've got some altitude. Come on, Tula. He's just flapping his, his heart's content. Put our hat on. We'll make our way back down to the Temple of Time. You might want to just check over here, just because there seems to be some spots. Dude, it is so great. I, I've, I've really come around to him. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. They want you to freeze the water. Hang on. Okay, so watch this. Yeah, because there's a Korok right in the middle. If only you had Cryonis. Cry Cryonis really sucked, though. Honestly. Like, it was like the weakest power-up. We got him. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to get him that hard. <laughs> oh shit, I think he fell. Yeah, I can see the parts he dropped down there. Okay, alright, let's, uh, let's just make work our way down. It's a shrine too. What's marked my map currently? That was like a... Drawn on the ground. That's that's the side of the tower. Okay. Just bop him with that. Okay, go for like a regular sword here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people who play Breath of the Wild probably made visit in here one of their first like objectives. Just for like the sense of nostalgia and that. If you haven't played that game, um, this is basically the tutorial area in Breath of the Wild. I wonder if it's got the same secrets. I think there was something like behind the waterfall over here. I actually really need to kill these guys. Um, for their eyeballs as well, fighting the dragon. Actually, really important. Should just like cook a bunch of apples up too. At some point. Yeah, there's a waterfall up here. Oh, I mean this this guy's clearly moved in. It seems. Yeah, he's a little scary. Oh, it's okay. I didn't want all the rewards anyway. Yeah, you know, let's just pick these up. Yep. Doesn't fire insta kill ice? I need to check if that's still the case, even for the like likes. Uh, this this car is gonna it's gonna die. Leave it behind. We get a durable wooden shield. I'm 
surprised that, like, they've got knight swords in that here. Let's hit him with a rock. Apparently everything of mine is, like, on the verge of breaking. <laughs> Oh, there's just a cave here now. That's cool. There's something behind the waterfall. River of the Dead Waterfall Cave. Okay. Interesting name. Okay. Hey, bud. There's a shrine here. Come on. Come on, open up. <laughs> just gonna... Just gonna walk past him. <laughs> He's not interested. Julian will we'll take a couple of pot shots at him. Anyone see the frog? There's a frog in here. Day one of my quest to get Dan to strap a rocket to everything. Like, dude, you don't you don't need to do a quest or like day one, day two, day seven of like posting. That's every day. <laughs> like that's that's already happening. Like you just need to wait until I get like mildly frustrated or inconvenienced at a puzzle. At which point I instantly solve it with a rocket. Like I, I that's already gonna be the solution here. You can already tell what I'm gonna do. You can see it like a mile away. Like I, I, I just need a rocket. I actually forgot to equip one, so instead, we'll do a cheeky shields jump. Hang on. <laughs> God. Hang on. Um, we need we need to get the angle right. Oh come on, that was close. Out. That, that's pretty close to a rocket already. Okay, do I just need to catch it before it... Hmm. Let's take this. So melt this one, and we just get a new phone. Cool. Now I need to put that there. Can I climb on top of an ice block? I can. So I need to get on top of this and then make that jump. Can't quite make that jump. Chest, the chest, the chest. Why has he forsaken us? I will. Uh, that makes up for the shield that I just immediately lost during this shrine. You can use these blocks to get across here. Developers are going to be very happy. He has to do a puzzle again with the intended method. Hmm. 
Yamoto is once again popping the champagne. Countless hours of work have paid off. Why is that just on fire? I, I need to get it there quick. Here we go. Climb this one? No, I can't. Yeah, put that across. The ice is the only one I can climb, is it? Oh, of course, I see the solution. Just need to make sure we get the angle right. It's not quite right. Damn it, guys. Tried it. Okay, well, what if I block, I'll block the flame? This down here so it doesn't conduct anything. Game, please. Yes, he's solving it. That just tips over. Yeah, I can just ascend, can't I? That's probably it. <laughs> Means I need to hang on. Still get a semi long box stick. And just ascend to the top. There we go. Just climb through these. Developer is still probably. Ecstatic that I did that vaguely as intended. We got him! He's learning! Take another blessing. We, we have a lot of shrines to do today. We'll get back and do some of the previous areas soon. Brilliantly done. He should have used more rockets. I did just want to use a rocket and complete that shrine, but I forgot to put one on my shield. Let me just like solo tape like 12 of them. Uh, now that I've gotten through. Just so I never make that mistake again. <laughs> just stock it up for the winter. There we go. Okay, we should we should be sorted now. Hey bud, how you doing? My god, he used his brain, Zelda Shrine Dev. What's more, I can do this. To get back up the mountain. Wait, someone saw the fr okay, hang on, wait. Go back.
Oh, the frog's back. Where is he? We still need to go back and turn these in. We've not, like, done a single one of them. We have 22 of these gems. We just haven't found them in the overworld since. Okay, now we go back. Oh, the dragon's back here again. That's crazy to me that they just go into the abyss and that, like, that was so scary the other day. Okay. I reckon there's gonna be a few of these on the Great Plateau. I'd be surprised if they didn't have a few shrines. Like, where, where we feel an area was. I feel like the Temple of Time has some. How did I have to help the Poe again? What did he want? Oh, watch this. Hang on. Don't go down. Don't go down. Oh, shit. That missed everything. I didn't go the way I want it. Stone gate body of water. Is that what he said? I mean, that would have to be around the lake somewhere then, wouldn't it? Called River of the Dead. This is the below world. Don't do it, pal. He said he wanted McDonald's. <laughs> I've been lost in these depths for countless millennia. Please. Can I get a six-piece chicken nugget combo? And if the McFlurry machine is working after all these years- No, sorry man. Still out of- out of order. Oh, bollocks! Dragon Boy's back. How are you doing? Okay, I don't have many arrows, so watch this. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them over the hill. <laughs> okay, not... <laughs> Not the, the sick maneuver I was planning. Okay, uh, you know? Start the battle. We have a pulverizer. Let's try this. They're all like black category ones. They're actually getting stronger, the enemies. I'm shocked because this is just like supposed to be the Great Plateau. This is not far from the start of the game. Jesus. Oh, your man's here. Hang on. Maybe we can get like another part off of him. Depends if he gives us an updraft or not. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem it. He's a bit too far away. I'll just watch him go by. He's going back to that hole. Yeah, it seems to be like his morning routine. Rocket to him. No, we don't we don't need to get him again, gang. We don't. We like 
Once we know that if he has a part, then we can like kind of start harvesting it. But I think we're good for now. I think we're actually good. Uh, I can use one of the materials I got there. Uh, make another handy sword. I want to try and make sure I have like some of the cooler weapons out that I can use. Also, I need to make sure I am on full HP. Because that is tempting fate. Pay the first Poe the ten souls for the location of his friends. No, I I forgot. <laughs> uh, but we know where one of his friends is. Uh, they are deep underground. T, what if you made it so every uh, so often a random chat message gets read by text to speech? I feel like that might derail the stream horrifically. <laughs> oh shit, there's just a royal clip. Neat. Sure. I won't say no. Let's, let's, let's make something good with that. A uh, blue maned Lionel Macehorn? Yeah, let's try this. Doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. I was hoping it would replace like the blade or something. Or Korok. Yeah, he's just keeping watch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, let's get our pulverizer. Just want to see what happened again. Is it gonna put it back where he was standing, or try to? <laughs> Poor Korok. Okay, I mean, there's an entrance um, to the depths down there. Do we think that entrance to the depths is going to be where your man the Poe was talking about? Because there's the water. He did mention water, yeah. I mean, that, that just goes all the way down. You mentioned, like, a stone gate. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure what he's referring to. Like, there's that bit of wall? Like, what do we think? He said he was trapped under the water behind the stone gate. Oh, is that it? It's like a dam there. That looks more trapped. Yeah, that, that might be it. Oh, we know where this one comes down as well. This is near the Hylia Canyon mine. Okay. We don't really need to dive in the hell then. Alright, uh, let's keep exploring. We'll make our way to around the Temple of Time. Do this bit first. Rock it up to get a better look. I feel like you guys are in withdrawal. You got you got any more rockets? <laughs> if we go like even a few minutes without one being launched, it's like I need a rocket man, I just just one more rocket. Just please, you just gotta hook me up there. Crave the rocket. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. You're the Yiga clan, aren't you? 
I'd wager you could learn to manipulate the ground with the earthquake earthquake technique. Why not join the Yuga clan and do so? Ah. That's right, we are Yuga clan. Oh. Wait, no, the Yuga clan. Ah. Uh he, he's just he's just waiting to uh -huh. kill us. Oh. It's just par for the course at this point. Just trying to kill you, so you. Ah, uh, I was trying to avoid that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He fell. Yeah, there's a shrine over here. Should have joined the Yuga clan. I, mean, I painted my armor red, so like I'm halfway there. Are these based in the old shrine locations. No, these are actually new. There wasn't one here before. Force transfer. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you gotta, you gotta make contraptions. Let's see it. Yes! He's playing the game again. There's like a ledge there. Hang on. Hop on. Guess you don't really need it though, because you can just send. <laughs> can you? Oh, you might need it. Uh, what I can do is I can I move that up a bit. Recall it. What? Oh, did it already go up? How did I miss it? <laughs> How did I miss it? Stop him, he's getting too close to cheese in the shrine! Mr. Miyamoto, look away, please. Dan, can you stop being so funny? I'm trying to handle customers. Are you like, are you working in a store at the moment, like while watching the stream? I'm just on at work. Tell him I say hey. Bye. Hey, random customer. Hope your purchase goes well today. Hope you have a good shopping experience. I hope I'm on like, you know how like in some places that you'll have like the TV monitor on that and like sometimes like the news will be on just in like the background, like you're on like a pub or something. I hope like someday I just end up like in that environment. And then like while I'm like doing like my usual like kind of streaming and that, I'm like, Hey, pub patron, hope you're enjoying your beverage there. That's a nice pint you got. Just like really freak them out. You know, like... <laughs> and before the TV monitor features you spelling fuck. <laughs> oh, that's the dream. That was just a topaz magic rod. That's amazing.
Hey, customer. Hope your trolley's looking good. Hope you got all the groceries you need. <laughs> just really scare them. And, like, we start to make, like, fake, like, PSA announcements as well. Like, just to really, like, unsettle them if we're in a public space. Like, we're in, like, a Walmart or something. Like, we're being broadcast. It's like, listen, don't go down the fruit and veg aisle. You won't believe what's happened there. Just don't go. Please. We've sent, like, four people to clean up the mess. They have not come back. Don't go. And there's a sale on pork sausages today. Over in aisle seven. <laughs> just, just really scare them. Oh, there's a battle talus here. Do we want to fight one? It's been a while since we had one of these guys. That's one way to get fired from work. Yep, we go. We just got like a carrot. Is he already just given up? <laughs> that was a very quick fight. <laughs> he just didn't... He didn't even try. Like, the crew is just like, what do we do? <laughs> Dan, I'm trying to do my estrogen injection. I'm begging you to do what they ask and be less funny. <laughs> You've, you've got, like, the needle in you, right? And it's like, I'm just like, this guy, like, just asshole. Like, just running a commentary. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Hope that injection's going well. Oh, you don't want to look down here at the moment. Oh, no. No, that's a big needle. <laughs> like, just, like, making it, like, the worst possible. <laughs> no, I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. <laughs> we get the ejection. I'm just writing a commentary for the other guy, like, administrating it. It's like, oh, you want to be careful there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> it's probably for the best that, like, streaming is still, like, this weird underground thing. Uh, for the most part, so that we're just not in more public places like this. <laughs> when is Rocket? We'll get to another Rocket, I got I need to... I just That's just a wooden stick, I don't need this. Korok Frond Guster. That, is, that just sounds inappropriate. I, I need something I can fasten this to. There we go, okay. Stick with heart. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know, that's such a funny concept for me. Because uh, cause I forget that, like, this is real. I don't know if other people get that feeling. Like, like it, 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 everything in, like, the online culture and the internet, it just doesn't feel like... It feels like there's this world and reality. And it's, like, a distinct degree of separation. It does not cross over. So it's, like, anything like that where it's, like, like you're in, like, a public place. Like, it's just crazy. This is why Dan has a VTuber avatar. I can't handle it. Dan, you've got to wake up. 
But like, it doesn't feel real, does it? And so I think like, like something that we always notice now is like, there's more people who are trying to like share a meme, but IRL, and it's such a jarring experience. It's like like my like my mom and my dad sometimes will show me memes now that they found online, and it's like it, it it's like a jarring disconnect. God love them now they're trying. Now we're talking like keyboard cat level of memes, okay? Yo, it's a very, very different era. But it's it still is like so surreal when that happens. It's like what? You know about this? Like, you know? <laughs> the best memes. Oh, this is perfect if Tulin just takes pot shots at this like cloud of bats. No, don't go away, I need your eyeballs. Oh, they're gone. Taking a fraction of health. Hang on, I'm, I might as well be like dead. Let's heal up. Okay, I mean we gotta check it out. Look, it's Temple of Time. I feel like more of it has collapsed since we were last here. I'm like Breath of the Wild. It's more Bacop. He never stood a chance. Couldn't even stand up. This guy's just trying to sleep. <laughs> and I'm just... I'm just murdering him. Oh, he made a bouncy stick by putting a mushroom on it. You know, we gotta try this. Bouncy stick. Extra durable. It's just a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got here around the temple. Oh, okay, that's just here. It's more of a collector's item now. You don't want to use this in combat. Um, I'm going to sell a tip of rocket to this in a moment. Just, I'll, I'll, I have to leave a rocket shield behind. Like, I've... I need more shield slots. I need more shield slots. Oh, hang on, there's a guy up here. It's a big swim for that one. This guy's just sleeping peacefully. Just take him out. Julian, you wanna you wanna just take some pot shots? Come on, get him. Get him! Yeah, he tried. I think their eyeballs also work for the home and arrow, so we need to get as many of them as we can. Temple of Time ruins. I can't tell if more of this has collapsed or not. I mean, it was pretty run down before. I don't remember if this entire left wall was gone. <laughs> Pray here, we can get another piece of heart. Hey, how's it going? Wait, I am trapped into the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Why are you connected to the Po? I don't understand. Okay, well there's the stone gate. Let's make our way over. 
Oh, wait, we should see if anything's up there. There's like a little power. Hop on up. Like, oh, like the king's second paraglider. Like he just left it here. Dan, did you know you can use Ascend on a Korok? <laughs> what? Does the game register it as like a physics object and like you could just pass through it? That's horrifying. I gotta try that. Come on. Nostalgic fabric. Soft fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, that's cute. I mean, not, it wasn't not the default design from Breath of the Wild. That's not how they've done it. I mean, I know we reskinned ours. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, I gotta get to the gate, which I think is over here. It was the Tears of the Kingdom motif this time. Okay. That's cool that you can get the old skin, though. I, I, I like that. A little something for players who play Breath of the Wild, too. Even just having it there. Okay, this is not going to do the job on his armor. There we go. Let's just smash through. These poor guys, like, dare to exist in this peaceful plateau. We must pay the ultimate price. Ah. I did delete the old tower, though. I think the towers rose up out of the ground or something, was the idea. Oh, hey, friend. How you doing? Hang on. Where, where are you after? He's back up at the Shrine of Resurrection. Okay, we'll get... We'll, hang on. I just... Let me just see if I can, like, warp through your body. Hang on. We need, we need to get you in, like, a high enough spot. Yeah, this ought to do. Hang on. God, they left some equipment here for the science. Just emerging from him. Oh no. It's an alien. He's terrified. Like, no, please, Link. Yeah, we'll leave him there for now. <laughs> I got I gotta figure out what's going on with the gate. There's, there's another chasm here. But it mentions the stone gate? Do you think it's just down the pit? Because he's saying, like, underneath it. see what it is. Hang on, there's supposed to be water down here, yeah. 
I gotta just jump off the plateau, Mo. Plateau doesn't seem as tall as it was before. We should, we should like stand to the side or something. God, I need more arrows. Just been just, like swept away. <laughs> oh no, the fish! Here's the po. You hear my voice. Come to me in the temple of time ruins, up the road on the plateau to the south. Why are you connected to, like, the goddess statue, though? You're a Poe. Like, it's different. I don't get that. <laughs> You've once again affected the trout population. Okay, uh, well, we'll just... pick up this Korok. Wait, hang on, is there a steering wheel? I got an idea. Hang on. This is a steering wheel. It's only steering wheels, it's not giving you any actual wheels, but that's fine, because I have wheels. I have an idea, right? Bear with me. Just just bear with me, I promise. Oh, he's making a, he's making a pretty vanilla craft. Bear with me. Fasten him to a wheel so that he will go under it. Ah, uh, no, he's glued onto the side. I, I want, I wanted him to be on the wheel and like kind of like clip through it or something. I need bigger wheels. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the pro. Ah, uh, okay. I'll get the big wheels next time. That's a real shame. Getting stuck. Okay, we can still just drag him up the stairs. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I think there's something like it's still. Ah, oh, no, his backpack's too big. His backpack's too big. Okay. I'll just- I'll just sellotape his face on here- on to, like, the back of this wheel. Oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? 
<laughs> okay, see ya, that's his stuff. <laughs> He's just hitching a ride. He's in so much fear. Yeah, let's bring him bring him up here. He's made it to his friend. I sell the tape to his friend. No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, look, here's where here's where Breath of the Wild started. This is when you got like the pan and shot at the kingdom for the first time. That was just a bunny friend. Oh, they had a. a Cave over here. This is the cave, isn't it? This is trying the resurrection. It is. <laughs> he just dropped. The ruins are all gone, it seems. It's all just more cave now. It's like a hot spring? Water's bubbling. Oh. There's a little bit more. You got like a hidden base down here. Take the banana. <laughs> you fell for the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into our secret storehouse of treasures from the depths, and now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Huh? Your life ends today. <laughs> oh, okay. They're just <laughs> you can't take the banana. <laughs> I think I can. <laughs> Grab that again. Tulin helped. He did. Okay, this is about to be broken anyway, so into the void you go. Eight old blade. Uh, what's this? Authorizer verified. We're driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. No way of return to where I was stationed there. I would therefore continue my work here. Oh, he's, he's just got a schematic stone. A beam cycle? Okay, sure. I mean, I'll try that at some point. Is it supposed to be like the master cycle? I think so. Sure. Good. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Build it. Well, I mean, I don't think I want to build it in here. I can't really see what it is. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a banner. Oh, there is something behind here. Hang on. Burn that down. Last little secret in here. 
eightfold long blade. Wielded by proficient fighter, it, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Uh, maybe we get rid of the bouncy stick. The bouncy stick isn't really doing much. Might be better. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's quite a bit down here. It's weird seeing it without all the ruins, like, because like, it, it's really all just disappeared. But that's, that's, that's not true, though, because, like, there are some bits left over, like, the, the towers are made of Sheikah runes and that, you know? I don't know what decided what stayed and what left, you know? Uh, but anyway... A block or a shrine? He has a block. I feel like there'll be at least one more shrine here. There's like a bit more out to the right. Maybe near the pit down here. The abbey. Okay, gotta go back to the Temple of Time. It's cool revisiting all this. I haven't sunk so many hours in the Breath of the Wild. Like just seeing you know like how the landscape has changed a little. I believe there was a Korok on this. Yeah, he's still here. He hasn't moved. Yeah. Found me again. <laughs> See you in another six years. <laughs> oh cave in here, isn't it? Take him. We made the exact landscape with rockets. That's, what do you think the rockets do? <laughs> if you're suggesting that. I don't think you understand how they work. It just, just terraform the world, Dan. Modify the entire landscape. An ICBM. <laughs> Don't think so. Okay. Got a statue is restored. You hear my voice. As a result of you draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You have earned my gratitude. I speak to you now from the depths below in the guise of this statue. It is the Poe. You hear my voice. I direct you to the four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. And deliver the stones to me, who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this and a reward will be yours. Okay, sh sure. Grant us eyes. Are there the old shrine locations? I, I I feel like there's one missing. Hang on. There might be. Yeah, I think they are. That's cool. Yeah, I remember that's like the the chasm and that you cut down. Okay. All right. Well, here. Shall we try make a bike? I don't have enough. Okay, wait. I think though, if I pop down my wheels, there we go. Oh wow, it's just like the master cycle. <laughs> wow, I've got it back. Oh my god, the beam. 
Oh yeah, it's just like we're, we're really going places. It really sucks. Because the fact that you can't jump over anything, so like you just gotta like dodge them, crash into everything. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I know I could have picked it up. I simply don't want to. Gotta, we gotta give him eyes. Drop him down the pit. Is the eye simply gonna be like that big boulder? I don't know. I don't know what the cue is gonna be. Wait. No, that's the eye. Okay. Grant us eyes. I should have, like, dropped the Korok down here. He's just, yeah, like, oh, I caught that, thank you. He's instantly on it. Somehow. Okay, if I fast travel here, I can get those other two, which is a cheeky ascend. Your Amazon Prime deliveries here. Just drops it down a ravine. <laughs> Catch! That's how they get it to you so quick, you know? Like, they literally toss it out of the plane. So we gotta. Yeah, we'll do we'll do this side quest. This this is fun. I like that they've they've actually added something special for the Great Plateau and that. The fact that it is even like a homage quest to to the Breath of the Wild. Sweet. Tell us a lot of love put into it. Maybe they'll bring back the motorbike for DLC. I mean, maybe. I mean, well, why why do we need it as DLC when we already have it? You know. You have it right here. I don't think you can improve. Um, you know, whatever the fuck this is. Oh god. But, I mean, you don't necessarily need it, too, because you can actually just build vehicles. Now, you know? And, like, they even have their own power sources in that. Like, I feel like there's a system in place now that's, like, was roughly, um, like, inspired by the Master Cycle as is. You know? Because even that whole idea of fuel and power. That did it first. Friend, how you doing? I'm guessing one of his eyes has become entrapped in the ice. Is it yourself? Your delivery's here! This is your Uber Eats driver. I've left it outside. For your convenience. 
Okay, over here next. You know, you're supposed to go after it and deliver it, right? Surely not. No, yo, you just gotta toss them in the pit. No, no, you, you, you don't have to, like, hand deliver them to the Poe or anything. Just toss them into the abyss and he'll do the rest. I gotta throw them all down for now. And okay, next wall. It's over here somewhere. He's got a box. It's stupid, and they don't tell you to deliver them until after. Really? <laughs> is that I, is, I, I? I'm just gonna deliver him. I'm just gonna try. Where's his eye? Not gonna be up above, is it? Anyone see it? Here's your man. Oh wait, okay, could just be under this, yeah. Okay, down you go. There's one more. Here's the old man's house. A little more done up now. <laughs> oh, I think the Yiga clan's moved in. Sure. Who's there? Wait, you. Sure. You're Link. Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're the one getting ambushed today. Oh, <laughs> just bop me. <laughs> yeah, we can just freeze. Take out spear. <laughs> oh my god. He's, hit, he's hitting for a fair bit. <laughs> Alright, well. We got him. If I talk at the door again, are they just gonna ambush me a second time? <laughs> No, we're good. We're gonna as fast as I can. Please just give me a little more time. But you're not one of them. Ah. Guess of the Yuga clan, you mean I can get out of here? Ah. Hooray, those Yuga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for him. It was awful. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. It's because of my reputation for flashy fashion, I only let CC brand treads touch this body. Okay. Ah. He's gonna give me a mask, sure. Is, is a stealth up variant, but it gives less armor than what I have. Oh. I mean, sure. You can get like a disguise kit. The Yiga Bulletin. Confidential updates from the hideout. When research division has developed new vehicles, the Gloom Dredger and Hover Doom Mark III. One of these vehicles is damaged. Please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. 
Item 2. It's imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. The earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. Okay. They have, a, they have a secret technique. Oh, they have a picture on the map, too. Hang on. Um, where's my camera? There's a map of where our hideouts are, I'm assuming. Okay. Take that with us. Poor old man. Yeah, he's lost his home. He's been driven out. I guess I guess he was dead all along anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, but Schmelda strikes again. Hey friend, how you doing? Actual moon. A demon link on the door? I I didn't see it. Was it was it like a picture of him? They drew. It's cute. The Reaper already badly damaged. I'm get. Do I even bother talking to this guy? Like I already know he's Yiga Clan. There's no way he's not. Mm. If it moves this way and does that, and this one comes over here like this, and suddenly that, that does this. Or so it seems at least, you know what I mean? Yes. Mm. You, you, you intellectual charlatan. Uh -huh. Curiosity killed the swords. Good fight. God love them like they're trying. They're trying to make their way in this world. Materials. Uh, we'll try a Gleok wing on this? Sure. Some of them, like, just don't stick on. Like, some of them do a really cool thing where it's like they'll replace the blade. Other ones, it really is just like, here's a dab of glue. And we're gonna hope for the best. Oh, there's a star over there, but we're way too far. Ice cream man says hello, yep. Yeah. He's here. Last shrine location. You drop a Korok in the volcano. If there's like a, I need to reach my friend guy there. Maybe we live in hope. Anyone see it? Just break the rocks, is it? Might just be break the rocks. Let me just make my way over. I I, I have like no arrows. I need to go back and actually get some. To use like this. Hang on, wait, I can use I can use this. Just to get through.
Yeah, well, you really have to carry them. Oh, that's awful. That's really bad. There's not like an extra shrine in this area, is there? It's like a shrine spaced hole in the map. I feel like there'll be like one over here or something, you know? We just get like checked up the, up this hill. There was once. They're just on their merry way. He's going down the hole again. Not in here. I felt, felt felt like there would be something else. Okay. It's all right. Feels like there should be some one out here. Yeah, yeah, actually, if we find the light route down here, that will indicate where the shrine is, too. That's actually a really good point. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's get our light armor on. Glow up. Okay, where where are we taking them? We have to just take them back all the way back to the Po. Oh, that's a hell of a trek. I can see the big temple. Easier to carry it with my other thing, wouldn't it? Soldier's broadsword. Uh, probably better than this. Okay, well, I know all of the things have fallen down here, so maybe it makes sense to get some kind of car, actually, and, like, pick them all up. I'm hoping it still marks where they are. For myself. Yeah, it's still American where they are. So, we want to make some kind of car. And, like, do a lap around. I have... There's nothing here for car. Let's get to the workshop first. Let's take one back. Okay, right. Game's really doing this. Ooh, we just put like chasms everywhere. Keep the player on their toes. Because I have to take them down to the Poe as well, don't I? This one isn't so bad, but this is the closest one. Okay, let me... Let me deliver the first one, and then we'll make a vehicle. 
danger. <laughs> Fine, guys. Where was the entrance to this again? Below me, ain't it? Careful with his eyes here. <laughs> Hope he doesn't feel the pain of this. Like, how? I'm curious what the reward for all this is gonna be. This is like very involved. You can see the slots where you gotta put them back in. Another Korok sees, like, yeah, ha ha! Bring me my eyes. And I don't think you are a licensed optometrist. You shouldn't be performing eye surgery. I don't think I would make a good doctor, because I'm very squeamish around blood. <laughs> be like, like trying to operate you. It's like, oh god, I don't like what's going on here. And I'd be like cracking jokes the entire time. Literally doing surgery and I'd be like, isn't this all so weird? Like, this is not what you want to hear from your doctor. Okay, let's make a little car. Rantos wheels. <laughs> Gonna take a bit to set these up each time. Uh, is there a steering wheel? <laughs> no, there's not. That, that's the one part I don't have. I don't have a steering wheel. I could auto build it. Can I? I just need a steering wheel. This one remembers the Korok! <laughs> Shut up, it's not gonna try and add the Korok back, is it? He's there! He's there! <laughs> okay, hang on, wait, let me get some ore. Hey, one more piece. Anyone see like a single bit of ore? Even like a single enemy that I can kill. I can get up that way. Perfect. Well, I assume when they drop it, it's perfect. But thank you. Can't you just manually build it? I mean, I I can't. I don't have a steering wheel. I also don't have a Korok, which is the interesting bit it is trying to assemble. It pulls the parts if they're nearby. Build. Oh, it's just his backpack. He's gone. 
If you take him off, then he dies. I mean, that's kind of hilarious, though. Go on our merry way. Already picked the worst way to do this, haven't I? The ravine here. I don't think Poe souls are that rare anymore as well. I don't think we need to worry too much about like how much we've gathered, because like they're they're absolutely everywhere. The dead end. Ow. Okay. Um, it's up there, is it? I think so. Is it time for rocket? I think it's time for rocket. There it is. Fell down here. They just tried to jump after me. Grantus eyes. Guys, please, please, please stop attacking me. I'm taking pot shots, I can see him. I mean, it wants us to build like a fantastic like vessel. <laughs> Guys, guys, come on now. Determined to get me. Yeah, it's slowly moving, so not yet. Um. I can make a fancy vessel like this. Need to get the eye too. I think I can auto build this, can I? I think I have this one saved. I do have this saved. Yeah. Let me just grab what I can off the wall. I just build that? Don't have enough Zonite, so it won't let me. Kinda lines it up. The fact that I don't have the rockets, it's like, no. I mean, I don't- I don't need so many rockets, though, you know? What I can just do... I can just fasten each piece. That on. So let's stick the battery on somewhere. Yes. 
Stick this on too. This rocket just needs to be adjusted slightly. Everyone is like freaking out. So he made a minor mistake. <laughs> he's he's gonna crash. <laughs> so I'm like still constructed it. Okay, let's bring it home. The flying machine is here. We might be able to reuse this in a moment, too. Set her down. I acquired. Down here, yeah. It's a lot of work for this. I'm hoping for a good reward. We quite got it. If it's not. Could have been with more rockets. Like you could have you could have put at least four more in there. Okay, here's your eye. Two more needed. You can hear the golem scream every time you manhandle their eyes. <laughs> what, what are you doing to my contacts? <laughs> He's like so mad. Okay, we gotta launch out of here, and then this is the next goal. It's like, just an alarming amount of fans. Fuse. Okay. Complete the battery juice. Away we go. It's not up on top of that, is it? This is a good time to just switch off the engines. And go into a cheeky bit of free fall. Just so we can get some battery power back. Okay, all right, it's gonna, it's gonna die anyway. Push it to its limit. That did not let me pull out my glider for a scary amount of time. <laughs> did not like that. Why is it doing that? Here. Okay, now here's another workshop. Oh wait, is this the minecart one we were at before when we crashed into the wall? I think it is. I remember here. Oops. 
Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta build a new car. It's not our old one there. <laughs> Oh, what's left of it? Buddy! Stop that. And notions. Gotta fasten this inside. <laughs> Need some rockets. What else is new? <laughs> do you have a steering wheel? I do we? I think everything fell apart. Should be alright, even without the steering wheel. <laughs> I, th I thought there was an extra rock. Is there an extra rocket? No, there's not. No, there is. Grab that too. Arm glued to it. Taking this for later, I guess. Okay, this looks like a sturdy vessel. On our way. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. I thought that was it. <laughs> oh, shit, his eye fell with it. It's down here. I thought that was it. God. Rewind it. No. Oh, no. It's not going to catapult, is it? No, I think it's because I moved it. Okay. Okay, well, we, we gotta get this out of here now. Uh, we're gonna have to do it, like, without the minecart. Overwrites its history if you move it, yeah. The, that's important to bear in mind. I'm not going to be able to get this out without a rocket, am I? It's like the deepest pit it could have fallen into. He's going to be pissed if he finds out what I'm doing with his eyes. Okay, hang on. I can... I can make a ledge. Behold, ins- I don't have enough. I got a balloon? I can make a spring. I mean, the spring might do the job. Damn it! <laughs> that 
more further back. I need to get his eye out of this hole. <sighs> okay, when in doubt, we have we we knew we knew the solution all along. We knew the solution all along. Okay. I need to get it, like, it can't be completely vertical, because it will just fall back in. But it needs to be at, like, a slight angle. Okay, it's escaped. It's escaped. It's free. It's free. So now we just have to track it down again. You've invented golf. <laughs> Shit, now the problem is how far did it go? How oh, does anyone see it? It didn't go back down here, did it? Did it make did it clear the second hill? <laughs> where, where did it go? I've lost his eye. It reset itself, I think. Is it back where it was? On the map marker it says there. I don't know if it was moving. I've lost my golf ball. It is this poor man's eye. Let's just try to go back and check. Let's see. Okay, it's back here. Alright. So, we're just gonna take it for a walk this time. Safest way. Unless. Hang on, I've got. I've got one more idea. Hang on. If we just take flight. This, this is all we need. And maybe this time we'll get it where it needs to be. Gotta fasten this. Yeah, we gotta get it. We gotta get his eyeball home. Gotta go quick. They're coming. Oh my god, that's falling pretty bad.
I panicked. I panicked. I couldn't do it. Okay, leave it there. Oh, there's some more here. Great. Jesus. I feel like all those plans we had to do shrines and whatnot are gonna be like jeopardized by this one guy needing his eyeballs back. Cause I can see what you're supposed to do. They want you to use the minecart system to get this home. <laughs> Now we are just wandering the hills. Trying to make it. Yeah, there's a pit stop here. We might be able to build a new minecart to see us on our way. Request the reward up front in case it's not worth it. I'm terrified that it's just gonna be like a yahaha, -ha! or you know, something like that. I don't even know what would be worth it as a reward for this. Like, <laughs> like I, I want. Like, here's my demands. I'm gonna go to this po. It's everything I require. Okay, I'm just hoping this time the rockets don't absolutely catapult us into the sky. That was the problem. I'm gonna keep them low. Okay, hang on, wait. No, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, hang on, I got it. Move this forward. I'm gonna stick him on the behind. We need the rockets or we won't clear the hill. People are begging me not to do this, but like... <laughs> we need them. We won't make it. Okay. The vehicle is ready. It's working. Oh, thank God for that. All right, we should be in the clear. Oh, thank God for that. We brought him home. Very worded, trust me, it's his eyes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's like, you can have him.
I think it's probably going to be like a battery or something like that. Like one third of one. You get like a hundred cells. I could see it being that. Which is like, okay. Like, personally, I want at least a full stamina wheel. But that might be asking a bit much. Okay, he's only got one eye left. We're almost there. Hoping this one isn't as isn't as awful to get. It seems closer. If it's just a shrine, if it's just a shrine, it will be quite upsetting. I feel like this this has so been so involved. I feel like it's gotta be more than that, you know. But we'll see. He gives you Zelda. <laughs> you found her. I've he's been been living down here all along. Right. Up to the north. Making sure I'm on the right path. There's so few reference markers. Camp up here. I'm kind of worried about fighting more stuff. I know I've taken some gloom damage. Probably just toss one of these to be safe. that the moment. You strap a wheel to a shield. You make a, a shieldies? Is that what we call them? Like heelies? That's what I'm thinking of. Activate this. So there is a shrine above here. You're right in that. It felt like there should have been one. That's a very central looking platform. Look at that on the left. What structure is that? Okay. Where is his eye? The I, I need I need to hang on, let's let's take this as a moment to just do a, like our apple cooking session. I just want to lay out, like, all of these. Just roast them. <laughs> they, they're cooked! It's nice to just have those little bits, um, of food on hand. I wonder, do I have, like, just... Yeah, I just have some, like, steaks and that. Pop them down. Oh, I cooked the meat. Mistakes done. There we go. Okay, here's your man's eyeball. Who is 
just wondered. Yeah, if I get high close enough to that ceiling, can I just ascend back up? She sees through it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've wondered if that's like something that's possible. Just ascend through like the entire world. Okay, what we got parts wise? Big wheels, steering wheel, and fans. Also, some big stakes here. Okay, first things first, hang on. <laughs> Let's just make like a pickaxe. Steak hammer. Look at that. That might be good. Alright. I wonder what the, like, the laziest craft we could make is. Maybe it's like we just grab something like this. Stick one of these to it. <laughs> that is absolutely not right. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. And please. That's what I am trying to do. Feel my energy game. There we go. I just feel like... Let's go! <laughs> Immediately get stuck. Nah, no, it doesn't work. Let's go, come on! <laughs> the car acts as his own brakes mechanism. It's working. It's just a little top heavy. So what I can do to improve the craft, get your man's eyeball, just stick it on the back. Yeah, sick, sick spoiler. <laughs> Getting stuck for some reason. Oh, it's cause it's cause it got too vertical. It doesn't do inclines too well. All right, hang on. Let's continue on, on our way. What if Koga saw you now? It's like I lost the this guy. <laughs> Hey buddy, how you doing? I'm here to return his eyeball. Excuse me. Hey, this is the final race against Ganon. I'd love it if Ganon's just like a Koga boss fight. 
that you'll never stop me, Link. Not unless you assemble the Minecraft blocks into a car. If you can't make a Ford Fiesta in the next five minutes out of these materials, Link, Hyrule will be mine. You start, like, assembling it. You have to race cannon. <laughs> Yeah, you got your eyes back. Give me, give me a full stamina wheel. Please. Now speak properly. In ancient times my eyes were stolen and sealed away. Beyond, I've awaited one who would hear my voice and return to me. Here you are. I promise I repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. Okay. It was actually worth it. Straight up! Straight up! He's giving me stamina! Pretty good! Your wish is granted. You revive my four spirit vessels, make an offering. I propose to me spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Yeah, well, what, what do you have for me? You even count my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the tunic of the depths. Desire, you must make a suitable offering. Loom resistance. Oh, they they sell copies of stuff too. They sell magic rods. That's actually really good. Even having these available is actually very powerful. We have the Dark Link uh, shirt already. Offer some resistance to gloom. Might be a good one. Yeah, these ones I already have. They sell bombs. I actually do need some more bombs. It feels like such a waste. Yeah, we might as well get this. Be sold out. I already have three magic rods in that, so I don't need to get more of them. I will actually take a few bombs. It's not bad. Yeah, look at this. Pretty cool looking. It just kind of shows up there. It's like gloom resistance. If we can upgrade that, that might be that might be more worthwhile. Just not given a lot of armor at the moment. I can just get a full stamina wheel now as well. I I think I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, well we finally helped the Poe. There's something over here. That looks like a... That looks like the thing that was down there. God, I hope it's not like another boss. Just in case, we'll mark that thing. Okay. I don't want to do that right now, though. I want to do shrines. I want to do shrines. I've unlocked some. I haven't done this one. Um, like in the overworld. They want it like a horse or something. Uh, I unlocked one here. So we're gonna- it's time for like shrine pickups and collectibles. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get like another stamina- like finish our stamina wheel. Uh, we'll see then if we can just get some more pieces of heart. Took us three hours to do the Great Plateau quest. <laughs> Which is insane. <laughs> so much game. Yeah, okay, get our trusty stealth armor on. So stuff doesn't notice us.
Are you gonna do dungeons today? I mean, it depends if I find one. We're starting with shrines, though. We we have more of them to cross off. Uh, this one had a shrine puzzle. You had to like freeze blocks of ice and put them in slots. It was cute. This one's just like pick up a blessing now. Big battery. Have you ever heard of main quest? Like side quest, but longer. <laughs> My god. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this concept. Pick up a few of these. I think it's going to show up to Ganon with a Glock at this rate. Pick up the bird one here. Can we go to Zora's domain and gaze upon Sidon's abs? Um, listen, what are you do in your spare time? Doesn't need to be anyone else's business, okay? We don't need to know, you know? Like, uh, you, you can just hang out here. You don't have to say it. Lever power. What are we doing? And can we solve it with a long stick? And I need a catapult of some kind. I'm guessing if I just do this. Okay. I think I got it. this in. No need to attack. Go. Oh, there's like two levels of shots to make. Oh, because you're, you're gonna need an even longer one. Okay. Long stick the shrine. Day. The game knows us. It's got to construct a small catapult link. How did I not get it? It was too high. Should have used a longer stick. Let's try a bomb arrow and hit the target. Did it actually work? There we go. Oh, I see. Now we need to launch ourselves. Okay. This, this, this seems safe. <laughs> there we go. Blink becomes the rocket. A shrine at everything we wanted, like, you know, rocket physics. And long sticks. Get her at last. Help, Dan. I've just found my 50 at Korok Seed, and I still don't know where Hestu is. But I find him, those maracas are going where the sun don't shine. <laughs> uh, good luck in your quest. Good luck in your quest. I hope you find him soon. Thank you for the 100 bits.
He's gonna have a very different dance soon. Okay. Uh, we have more shrines to cross off. Hestu watching this stream, he's, he's running. Well, I mean, Hestu is probably having, like, a panic attack at this point, just because so many of his, bro like, brethren have been, like, sent into space and, like, stuck the rockets. But the Korok population is not doing too well in this game, and I'm all for it. Love it. Okay, another... This shrine was down a well or something, I think it was. This is just uh, another... Pick up the collectible. He's the right... He has right to be afraid. Let them fear. Like, I... This isn't what the developers intended, right? But I feel more motivated to gather all the Koroks in this game than Breath of the Wild. Purely because I would get to torture them. And it's just quite fun. <laughs> like, I want to find all the backpack ones. It's competent game design right there. <laughs> but I do feel more motivated to get them. It's just straight up. So like, you did it. You got me caring about the Koroks a little more. The amazing job done. Oh, there's the red dragon boy. Oh, <laughs> okay. When the, glow the Korok just died. Does he come over here? He's kind of looking this way. He's also very far away. I'll just, just leave him to it for now. Catch him later. Oh god. At least they give us a flashlight. We need to find a key. Yeah, this is this is probably one just with a glow armor, and the glow armor is probably just gonna break it, isn't it? Oh, that's so much easier. Although maybe we should still take the flashlight just in case. I, I could fasten it to a shield. <laughs> yeah, the walls are slowly closing in. Odd treasure to give. We're done. Good. Was this worth waiting another year? Ah, yeah, I mean, it was. It was always going to be worth the wait, like. 
It doesn't really matter how long a Zelda game takes for me. Like, I'm, I know I'm going to have a good time with it. Secret chest. Oh my god, it's bright. <laughs> my eyes. Discord light mode has been enabled. Honestly, it's so bright. Contrast has just been like scaled up. Okay. Another orb. Would you recommend the Switch and any of the games that come with it? Um, I mean, this game's pretty good. Mario Kart's pretty good. Odyssey's good. There's a lot of good stuff on Switch now these days. They have, like, a lot of weird kind of remasters and that. Like, I love the Mystery Dungeon one. Okay, uh, next shrine. We're having a switch literally for these games. Uh, probably. It's pretty good. I mean, they're my favorite games. You know, like Breath of the Wild was my favorite, and now this is my favorite. This is just better Breath of the Wild for me. There's so much more happening. Not sponsored. But, you know, I, I mean, if you're unsure, like... You know, just watch a while, see what you think. Make the decision for yourself, you know? Easiest way. I I'm, I'm, I'm like, not like a journalist or a critic or anything, you know? I I'm just trying to have fun playing games. You know? And I'm having a good time. I actually beat the tutorial on this one! That's how you know. You were a journalist, though. So. A brief stint for like a month and a half. Back in like 2016. Never let it go. Remind him. <laughs> Bill, thank you for a thousand bits. I'm glad they released a beta version of this game six years ago. Face, <laughs> honestly, that's how it feels. That's how it feels now. <laughs> I can't imagine going back to Breath of the Wild after all the systems of this one. I think the world would just feel empty. Okay, another, another pit stop here. RT, would you put Drift King on your CV? Absolutely. Probably my biggest claim to fame is being alive. I'm Lee Catches. Okay. What, what, what are we doing, gang? I don't know if I should be using this really good sword uh, for this one. Oh, actually, all my, all my weapons are kind of good, so I guess we just use it. So I want to use like a magic rod. Okay, so that's gonna, like, make its way down. And then we gotta be like, oh! There we go. Ew. Armor's still the light one, by the way. <laughs> it's like everyone's eyes are just being blinded. Yeah, hang on. There we go. God, how high up does that go? 
Okay, hang on. This is going to launch us to space. Look at the speed of this. I don't even know what I'm trying to do down here. I gotta, don't get hit by the boulder. That would be a really sad way to die. Okay, I see it. Right, so that's where it comes down. I gotta get back to the button in time. Try it again. Don't bop your head. Hate all the try like the puzzles in that where it's like you could just fall and die. <laughs> this be so on edge. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna try that. Don't stub your toe. Like, that's the fear. It already happened once. Is there any others for me to complete? I'm one, sh I'm one shy. There's like the stealth shrine one, but I don't trust myself in that one. That one was really dangerous. We were, we were not good at the stealth mechanic. That is the only shrine that seems to be, uh, appears to be available right now, though. I mean, there's probably ones if we go just elsewhere in the world. We might find one in the thunder zone here. Yeah, there's like, there's like a good amount of stuff here. I feel like there's gonna be something over here. Oh, there's the- I- that's why I marked this. There's the whirlpool. I actually might have one. That feels like, you know, jump in, shrine. You been to the Gerudo yet? Not yet, no. Uh, I want to explore, like, the Thundercloud today. I want to eventually try and get back to that dragon. I have an idea for how we can beat him, but we just need more... We need more battery more than anything. Maybe we won't get to the dragon today. I wouldn't mind trying to find, like, my way into the Korok forest. Like, that, that's, that's like a real mystery to me right now. It'll give us some time to prepare for the dragon, too. Maybe the solution is you just, like, fly in or something random like that, you know? Could be. Like, <laughs> construct an airplane. And you tried riding the big long dragon that you saw in the sky at the beginning of the game. Um, I haven't seen that dragon come close, though it's like, you can actually hop on board. Like, at all. We've been able to hop on top of one of the dragons. There's the evil bridge dragon as well, we've beaten him too. I really need to get arrows. Save them for mining. Like, all this guy, poor guy, does is ever just wave at me. And we just decide no. You must perish. <laughs> Did 
He's just minding his own business. I, I don't really have a plan for getting in here other than just swim over and see what happens. I hope this doesn't just kill me. <laughs> There we go. Okay. It's not just game over. Okay, so we're alright. I, mean, I I figured there'd have to be something. Whirlpool cave. That would have been a very funny way to just go, is that you died. <laughs> So, well, uh, the, the not dying adventure's over, gang. We... We did our best. Where is the crystal? Oh, there's the frog. Link, please. I don't even know if these are worth collecting at this point, like... The game makes a big point out of them, but they've not helped me. 24 of them now. Okay, just straight up. Where is this? Is it gonna be in like another part of the cave, maybe? That bit of ore, too. More of these. Always need them. Okay, just up. Too high. Let me go up here. And we go. I... Wait, it's all the way up there. Right, okay, hang on. Let's just swim back down. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to just catapult myself, I think. Go back to here. Rocket time. No need for a rocket here. I don't think a rocket's gonna actually take us high enough. I think we have to do it this way. Hoping this tower has enough... Well... Gets us far enough. It is, it is a little bit away. I just get a new map color map marker. I always have six. I don't know if I did. I thought I had five. It's always six. Okay. Here we go. It's that temple there. God, I hope I'm able to reach this. I can't really afford to drop it all. Yeah, I mean, I should be okay. I have extra stamina. There's, like, the flower island down there, too. So you'll need to talk to your man about, like, translating Hylian. Crawler? Oh god, there's something on me. Yeah. 
The controller is charged. But the right Joy-Con has disconnected on console. Okay, that's weird. That's what happened. Yeah, you see that? Why did that, why did that disconnect? This is just plugged in at the moment, okay. That must be what set it off there. God almighty, leave me alone. Let's get down on the ground. He just missed and gave up. You're just like gonna drop it. Let's see if there's anything up here first. Yeah. See you later, friend. Oh, not friend. See, just see you later. Big hardy radish, that's good. There's... <laughs> oh, I thought that was like, uh, like, uh, one of the chickens, or a cuckoo. Bird friend. Okay, um, I mean, I guess we just drop this down? Like, see you at the bottom. Did it go in? I hope so. Maybe it just registered. Here we go. It looked like it missed for a moment, that's why I was worried. Yeah, there we go. I thought it missed somehow. Okay, that was cute. You can get an extra piece of heart with this. Oh, I'm gonna finish my second stamina wheel then. I'll have two wheels of stamina and then the rest goes in the heart from this point on. I I think that's pretty good. I think you get a, like a third wheel too, but like, I, I I don't think we need that. I think two wheels should be enough. I'm gonna use these streams as a playthrough guide. But I'm flattered. That's very sweet of you. I hope I can help. Uh, I want to drop something for this. I've used this a few times. Let's drop that. This might be better. Your playthrough helped me with the wind temple. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm an actual Let's Player now. I can give you the top tips to play your video games. Start the next video kind of like, this is what you need to know to stop playing Tears of the Kingdom wrong. And if you enjoy any of these tips, make sure to smash that subscribe button. For more, Tears of the Kingdom tutorials. Smash it. Smash the damn button. Okay. 
Let's, uh, let's trade in our lessons. What's the difference between a gameplay video and a let's play video? Honestly, there's not much. I'm just joking. I'm just joking about, like, how do like, YouTube meta and that, and, you know, like, oh, I'm, oh, creator here, you know? <laughs> there's not much difference. I mean, I, we're just all playing games, ultimately. Someone needs to be a big arrow pointing at Link with the words, you're playing it wrong. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's an influencer. Okay. Second stamina wheel complete. That was worth it with the Poe side quest. There's a pretty good reward for it. We otherwise wouldn't have the full wheel because we would have had to use it for pieces of heart. But now we can be cheeky and invest. Look at that. Okay, everything else goes in the heart containers from this point. We need hearts. We'll get a second line. Well, we got, if we can make our way to that second line soon, that'd be good. I think it's going to take a few more. Yeah, it's definitely 20 per line. So you can get like 40 hearts just by the end of it. That's actually crazy. That's so many. Do we have 17 now? So, it's going well. Uh, we can talk to this guy and see where his brethren are. Go to the location indicated on your map. Oh wait, offer a hundred. Whoops. I thought that was ten again. Okay. Right, he's a bit further away. <laughs> Okay, well, they're marked. Sure. You get posed pretty easily. It's not the worst. Uh, we can stop off at Hestu. Uh, maybe get like another shield or something for ourselves. Dying up the shop again. Okay, how much is a shield? Shield is five. Weapon is 17, okay. And that's 8. Uh, let's get an extra shield. There we go. We can get more rockets in our inventory now, gang. How much for a shield from here? It's 10. Uh, I think maybe we get an additional bow. I think we'll just get the one that's like the least. There we go, pretty good. And I, I desperately need arrows. <laughs> I'll take the lot. We need so many more arrows. We're like so far behind on that. And now I have only 30. That's not that's not enough like to get through this. Um they sell arrows at the Rito village, yeah. I'm I'm going to just like buy some more real quick. The world is dead. Boom, shaka cha. <laughs> He's having a great time. Why not use amiibo to get more arrows? I've been trying to avoid scanning the amiibo just in case we get like overpowered shit. 
Because the amiibo have a tendency to do that. And I I, I've, I I think if I do that, there's going to be at least one guy who's like, you know, like, well, it's not even a not dying run at this point, you know, like, there's always one. Uh, I will scan the amiibo, though, after we beat the final boss. And we'll see what they all give, okay? Just to, just to silence that one guy. You know who it is. Yeah, we, we will try scan him then. Actually afford some more... No, I really can't. I don't even need that one. Never mind. Richard. <laughs> Fucking Richard. Always so angry. Why we called him out before? Mr. Hammond, not again. Okay, there's another tier of the kingdom here. I know it sounds like a shit post when I say it like that, but that's what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna pick that up too. Um Should we head to the storm cloud then? We didn't we didn't map the top bit as well. We have to map the top bit. Get the tear flashback, we'll map the top bit, and then we'll go into the storm. So much to do. I think next time, like maybe for Saturday, we'll focus on like getting to like the Goron Mountain or something. We'll like, try and do like a main story bit. Get a new power. I know we have been wandering a long while. I'm honestly okay with that though. Like, I, I, Loved even like exploring this area. Seeing what's new. It's been a week since we searched for any of the sages. <laughs> and the last sage we did would have been on Sunday. It would have been last week, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll gear up for that on Saturday stream. Make that the priority. You've li done literally. You've done nothing but get sidetracked for several streams. <laughs> Listen, it's a big game. <laughs> There's a lot to see. <laughs> We've been having a swell time navigating the land. Yeah, I, I, I mapped out where this one was earlier for like the full tier. You can see it from a distance. Okay, tier of the kingdom. Unlock it. Shield types 200 bits. Have you gotten the resources you need for your stealth armor? I, no, I tried to find the frogs. I don't know where they are. No one knows where they are apparently. They're out there. We'll find them eventually. Too stealthy. Okay, now the question is, is this before or after, like, Ganon killed everyone? I think it's after. I think it's after. Alright. Sonia. Oh, Zelda. King Raru, before you face the Demon King tomorrow, there is something I must tell you. I came, I came to this era after finding a man underground. Hmm. Go on. <laughs> His name was Jerky I Ganon. What the secret stone did to Ganondorf. At that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. He 
was still alive, still powerful. He continues to live on, all the way into my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. And you... And you will... We're fucked, Raru. We're fucked. But it is my <laughs> duty to try. It was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the king of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. Even if... I must risk my life. Guaranteed to die. Raru. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. <sighs> Meanwhile, Link is like sellotaping a rocket to a Korok. That was a future where you never appeared in this world. And you are here now. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. The reason I am here. Gotta fix the sword. Gotta fix the sword. We went to the last boss, we know. They're not the only ones spoiling the plot. <laughs> Link's just like, yes! Side quest, get! Alright, so we can. King's duty. That's a while after this. Where are some of these scenes? There's like missing bits throughout it. I don't know if there's enough things even on the map to get all these. Right, well, that's another one chartered. Um, I do want to get to the storm. But I need to go back here, I need to get this tower so I can actually unlock the map for this area. Because I'm so woeful at actually getting the map. I think there's one around here as well. Did we have it in the album? Yeah, there's one of the sword up there. Okay. Okay, so let's just make... I think this one's actually a bit closer. Let me just click on a light. Very dark again. Okay. Let's get the tower. And we can find the sword one even from that. Reco I, you recommend me getting that one last. Spoilers. Guys, we fought the final boss. <laughs> but by the sheer virtue of saying that, yes, we are absolutely getting it now. I want to. I want to know what it's got. I need to reach my friend. Oh no! Where are you going, bud? Hang on your Uber. Okay. I mean, come on. Like, how could they not expect you to use a rocket for this one, though? How could they not expect you to? 
Like, it's- it's literally perfect rocket trajectory. Oops, not that. And if he doesn't make it, he falls in the swamp too. Which is even funnier. Godspeed, Korok. <laughs> Did he make it? I lost sight of him again. The problem is, how do I get back across? Yeah, I think I, actually, I want to climb this tree. He didn't roll back down the hill into the swamp, did he? Oh, he did make it! Like, like, they know! They know that you're gonna just strap rockets to him. It's the perfect distance. Like, that was the cleanest Korok we've done. The solution was torture. They, like, they test, they had to test that. Oh, I see what's happening with this one. There's like a block in the way. We're gonna need to move. They didn't want us to use rockets and they wouldn't have given us so many rockets. Exactly. Uh, cause they give us, like, a lot. Uh, this was the shrine before, where you had to complete it in the dark. A lot calmer now, ain't it? You a clown? No, you're not. I'm the one who discovered these big runes way out here. Well, I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. Only one Hylia, and this is the last is not a one Hylian job. I wrote to the Zane survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Hey, how's it going? What? You're just some guy. Monolith research. Yeah, okay, let, let, let me help you. You're hired for this project alone. I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Well, let's find out what secrets these runes are hiding. Oh. And we can dive right in. Start by showing what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. Oof. Mm. Be pretty surprised by this discovery. Play the power of the Sage of Wind to the owl protected by many dragons? Zanai so were an ancient civilization with their own uh, system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Zanai script. You can read the inscription on that monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. These runes appear to be Zanai in origin. They feature text written in modern Hyrulean. Who could that be? Who built these runes and for what purpose? Oh. There's a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. Uh -huh. The owl protected by dragons. I only have the Sage of Wind power up, so if they if they require more of them, uh, we're gonna be gonna be out of luck here. And the, ta the tower is blocked. Okay, so we need to climb this. Uh, it might be time for a rocket, gang. I just need to get one of these down. Come on. Oh my god, he's got some rockets. <laughs> Okay. 
solo tape this. You could just as oh, I could have just ascended to it. Yeah. Does it? I forget it exists, right? You we use this a while. <laughs> Okay, alright, okay, I think, I think we overshot it a little. There we go. Power should now be working. We got it. Can you put it back? <laughs> Just block it again. Like lock in the tower whenever like Link is done with it. Like only I get to access this. Okay. We'll we'll catapult off into that for in a moment. Um, let's see if we can figure out your man's little quest. I have the Sage of Wind, the owl protected by dragons. I'm guessing that's in the ruins. Have a look. Looking for an owl and dragons. You just fought Kalgaren, not the final boss. No, we, we got to the final boss. We fought the army. That's like part of it. I know it's like a big multi-phase thing, but we got to it, right? Don't, don't, you know, don't, don't like... Um, actually, technically, it's only the last phase that counts. Like, we got to the fucking final boss in terms of location and shit. It was a battle. <laughs> you know? Like, I, I, obviously, yeah, there's more to it. There's phases and stuff like that. But that, that wasn't what I was trying to do. I was just trying to see if I could do even one at, like, the start of the game, you know? And we did. And where's our owl? Let me have it, chat. Let me have my moment. Don't be like, actually, this is why you shouldn't be proud of what you did. Let let me have it. <laughs> oh, nice. Is that the owl? That kind of looks like an owl. I did it. That's my power. Um, this is why you suck at the game, Dan. <laughs> like, hmm. It does look like an owl. He's not really guarded by dragons, though, is he? No, there's a dragon there. I just didn't want you to get spoiled. You're alright. No, like, don't worry about it, you know? Don't worry about me being spoiled in that. Like, I'm not going to be spoiled by just playing the game. If the game chooses to tell me something, the game chooses to tell me that. I'm going to be spoiled if I'm, like, looking up the wiki. Or, like, stuff like that. Or, you know, like, people telling me, hey, don't do that. You know? That's spoiling. 
Well, if the game is like fully willing to show me something, then I I don't care. Like it's an open world game. That's why. There's no right way to play it. Yeah, there's several owls. We need more of an owl that's with dragons. I mean, it must be around here then. I mean, because here's like the big old dragons. Still nice to know 200 bits. I wasn't here the first three hours. What did you do in that time? We were doing the Great Plateau. Yeah, a lot of it. I'm not seeing this fucking owl statue. I thought it would have been like one of the big ones. I can see the dragons. Here we are. Yeah, they're all they're all facing him. Okay. Right, let's try this. This must be him. There we go. Take a treasure chest. Three sa that's amazing. That's such a good reward. Because like that's that's like the best gem for me. Like I don't really care about the other one so much. That's amazing. Solved it, my man. There's nothing more you can help me with for now. Um, I'm guessing there's more tablets in that, depending on the other champion powers you get. We simply do not have them, uh, currently. There's not too much we can do, but that, in a as a reward in of itself, is so damn good. Okay, let's map the region. Someone tells Zelda to put some Bitcoin in the next, uh... One, so sapphires don't build any interest. <laughs> Means like a more valuable currency than these gems. Oh, I can see the Master Sword there too. There we go. It's mapped. Sky map too. There's probably a shrine over there. Let's see if we can get it. There's the sword. It's like tucked away. Okay, hang on. So this one's over here. Oh, it's a capsule machine, too. Uh, stop swan diving, Link, please. Make me so nervous. Another construct fight here, too, it seems. We get steering wheels at last. Uh, I mean, I hope it's in one of the capsule machines. It is a part that would significantly help us. It's just on him, is it? It's on his back. Okay, we'll go down and get him in a moat. Yeah, you guys, you guys don't need to worry about spoilers for me in that, though. Like, don't worry. Like, I'm not actively, like, looking up the game or anything like that, right? Like, the, the main... As long as, like, you know, people aren't just, like, oh, like... Like, 
<laughs> he doesn't know that the final boss is Zelda. Then, like, it's fine. You know? Like, uh, yo, just, just don't, don't, don't be that person. And it's grand. You know, but like, if it's stuff in the game, it's like, you know, like, it's an open world game for a reason. Incorrect, it's Schmelda. <laughs> oh, finally! And a shock emitter. Thought I device that shoots a shocking bolt from its horn when struck. Oddly, only the horn conducts the bolt. The rest of the head is safe to hold. That's a new one. Is that a new one or is that the horse one? The horse one was more of like a lightsaber, wasn't it? Yeah, that's different. The horn was a beam emitter. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty cool. We got some new ones. Here. Pop in five more. Capsule machine get. A homing cart. Zanai device that automatically heads for monsters. It's believed to have been used by the Zanai as a security measure. Okay, that's an interesting one. Homing cart. So if I could just make it so this guy locks on. He's got some beefy wheels on him. Okay, so it's not going to be flying or anything. It's a Roomba. <laughs> Zanai Roomba unlocked. An interesting one, yeah. I'm not sure how to use that one, honestly. We'll figure it out. Do you think of another 200 bits? Have you or will you do Age of Calamity? Um, I... I bought Age of Calamity ages back and I just never got around to it. I think I bought it when it came out. I just never got around to it at all. I don't know if it's one I'd stream, but I'd want to, I want to play it for myself at least at some point. It's the swirling vortex that is the Korok forest as well. Do you think it's possible to just catapult dive through it? No, that's going to be really dangerous. No, that, that's actually too dangerous now that I think about it. That's how, that's how you die. Holy, oh my god, how many rockets do you need? Game. <laughs> uh, we know we know where the resupply, if we're ever running low. So we gotta fight another Minecraft golem. Take him down. Got his block in his hand. Oh, it's only rank one. Oh. Can I just toss him? Like his, his brain basically just off the edge. <laughs> no, sure, surely it's not going to be that easy. I'm just like... Nah, he resists. He resists. He knows. Go up before he crushes you. There we go. That was... That was easy. Jesus, the gem almost fell off. Just to uh, get this away from the edge a bit. <laughs> this guy go. Like dancing. Uh, might as well fuse it. 
Oh, yeah, that's real. That's the one I should be saving the sword handles on that for. That's actually so much extra damage. I just doubled it. Dancing boy. Okay, let's get the gem back. And I guess we'll just sellotape some of the rockets. The question is, how many rockets is too many? <laughs> like, I'm... I'm kind of worried we will massively overshoot this. There's so many here. Too many is a fake concept. I wish I had a Korok. Sellotape do this too. Okay, I <laughs> hope you're ready for like our terrifying ascent here. <laughs> We're actually going to space. So many. Oh, that one's not even fastened. That actually wasn't that bad. I'm kind of thankful that one wasn't fastened, too. We can use this to get home now. That wasn't terrible. Make our way, uh, back home. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Hang on. <laughs> Bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> on. Come on, give me it back. I was kind of worried it would land in that, and then it's like, I just watched the gem disappear. <laughs> but we're alright. I was worried it was going to be catapulted. We have easy access to steering wheels now. Yeah, like, that's actually huge. We can make so many more cars. Good feeling. Let's talk up on the steering wheels. I'll get some more soon. I'm not gonna go all- I don't have too many resources at the moment. Not our magic rod. I'm not gonna have space for all these. I, I already have so many. I could leave this in the box for later. It's not going anywhere. I already have like three or well, four. Yeah, we'll just save that for later. Uh, do you remember? Uh, I'll ask chat in like a month's time and be like, okay chat, I need to know exactly where we left the magic rod. No, I didn't mark it on the map. I was relying on you to remember. That's the system we have on this channel. It's all up to you. All up to you. I really just want to catapult a Korok. I don't know why. I wish there was a Korok here. I just want to see him lot. I wish there was one here. Where is that one?
out there. It's moving, is it? The entire platform is spinning. One of these days, I'll have enough battery to just make an airship or like a full on plane. And we can just explore the skies to our heart's content. Okay, yeah, I gotta go find the sword. It goes over here somewhere. Does anyone see it? There it is, okay. My stop! I was so high up. It's that, that terrifies me that there's just nothing around. I'm not accelerate. No, if I accelerate, I die. I'll accelerate. It's like, let's, let's reach the ground a little faster. As I, like, ragdoll physics, like, head explodes. I'm not doing it. I know people are going to be like, well, you're a coward if you don't, but you're also simultaneously going to be like, if you die from it, it's your fault. I can't win. Okay. Let's see. The tier of the kingdom. He managed to restrain him somehow. Oh shit, there's a lot going on here. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. He's in the shrine. This is when you handed her the Master Sword after it was destroyed. <gasps> She's right up on the surface still, on the sky. Like, you, we've talked about this, you really gotta polish it. It's gonna rust. What were you doing that I got this bad? The master sword. You're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. Oh, that's the fee music. I can hear it. Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. 
We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. I'll be forever changed. So she's one of the dragons? What does that- I mean, I, we saw the dragon mural, like, how does that help? Zelda's, Zelda's one of the dragons. I don't really understand how that helps, restore the sword still. That's one of the later ones, a master sword in time. She's one of the dragons. Okay, I mean, it's not the one... Were there four dragons? There's the three. You always get the three. We we, we took a ride on one of them. That wasn't Zelda. Um... It was the red one. Anyone see any dragons? Uh, we, we gotta find her, but like, how do we even find her? She's just straight up in the sky. There was the one that we saw at the very start of the game. I wonder if we even just go there. What kind of like fucking spacecraft do I have to make to actually get to her now? Do I have to, like, hit her for parts? You got, like, Zelda's fang! Like, oh, like, she could be anywhere in the world, honestly. I have no idea. She's flying all over it if she's a dragon. How do we actually find her? I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to investigate the dragons a little bit more and see what's going on. So one of them is one of them is Zelda. I can infer that much from what the plot is saying. But I don't understand why yet. <laughs> Or, like, what the purpose of that is. We'll have to figure it out. Definitely keep an eye out for dragons. Yeah, we've, we've more interest in them. Like, I don't know what we would even... Oh, hello. I don't even know what we'd be looking for. <laughs> even if we find her. You can hop on top of the dragons. I know it's not the red one. I know it's not the yellow one I was on. And I know it's not like the... It's like a blue one too. But, but like, that's like for the ice one. I, I can't remember their names for the life of me. There must be another one somewhere. Looking for a different color dragon. I have no idea where to even start that search. Uh, but we will figure it out with time. I reckon doing some of the this, this side quest here to get the tears is also going to help lead up to that. If I have to guess. We could try and track down more of the tears. We've, we've gotten quite a few of them. We've actually done quite well. Um, let me see the picture. There's two more on the left side of the world. Have I gotten those ones? I don't th think so. 
No, I'm sorry. It, it, I'm, I'm trying to just line it up. Bear with me, gang. One and two. No, I haven't got either of them. There's another one, like, over here somewhere. And then there's, like, another one further set of that. The dragon tears are Zelda's, yeah. She she is the dragon. I mean, that, I think that's the idea. It makes sense why that's her memories, you know? Okay, I'm gonna try and get more of the memories anyway. I think that's crucial for figuring this out. I think that much is a given, because I think even if you collect them all, then Impa herself might be like, What? Zelda is, and like, you know, main quest happens. But we're gonna have to keep exploring. Um, there is, I don't know, there's, I wanna get the dragon tears. I think we're gonna focus on that a little bit next. I do wanna get to this, like, thunder plateau place. There's something going on up here. And it looks really cool. I think I can get to it from here. Um, coincidentally, Misko's treasure has let me know there's a shock-resistant outfit here. That seems absolutely invaluable if we're going to be doing this next. We should probably get a piece of the rubber suit just in case we get struck by lightning. Alright, text for 200 bits. The true secret is that Zelda is a Korok hidden somewhere waiting to be rocketed to Link. <laughs> it's like, Link, I am hidden under one of these 900 boulders scattered across Hyrule. I cannot tell you which one. For fear that Ganon finds me. You must find me though, Link. Please. Armor just in here. In your eyeballs. Yeah, let's pick this up and we can. Like, going up to the sky is now even more valuable too, because we might actually figure out how to get on top of some of these dragons. I mean, it's the highest up vantage point, you know, that we're gonna have. Dropped all my weapons. Okay, alright, you're, you're starting to annoy me now. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to have the rocket shield equipped in here, otherwise we'll just catapult into the ceiling again. <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah, some uh, huge story, like, huge story moment there. I'm really excited to see what it all entails. That feels like one of the later memories, too. Like, I, I don't, I don't know why there's more after that. I'm really curious now. Treasure from the cave. Like the walls for sticky frogs are sometimes hard to see. Yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go back and look at them. Don't worry there. Be friends. Yeah, that's got me more excited to kind of just get sidetracked again and explore the, the sky. Figure out what's happening with these dragons. Even more side quests, you know it. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, that's a new one.
It's just a boulder. I, I know what to do, though. If that is not working the way I want, though. There we go. You type a like, like. Oh. <laughs> we just kick this while it like catapults down the corridor. Oh, it's gone. Oh, an awful. After rewards in this game. Actually, I I can't complain though. It's it, the game is being kind to us still. Yeah, like, that's got me wondering about so many points, like, things. Like, where exactly is the Master Sword as well? If Zelda was, like, had it. Because it's just going to be, like, like the dragons just holding it or something. You know? Like, that's the thing. I don't, I don't understand. I got so many questions. I'm really glad I saw that one when I did. It's got me really excited. Figure it out. It's not our night's shield. Game is being too good to us. Your man is down here somewhere, too. He's flags. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Master Sword was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Thank you, Jimbo. This is the, this will be handy for us in this area we're trying to get to. Uh, genuine question, actually. Am I going to need the full armor set before I attempt to just fly into a storm cloud? Hmm, I'm actually thinking about that because I, I, I'm i not going to attract the lightning. But it also seems dangerous, don't it? It seems really dangerous. <laughs> Let's leave it up to fate. Yeah, th that that philosophy doesn't get you far, honestly. <laughs> no, I I imminent death approaches. I'm just gonna leave it up to God. Like, I, I don't know I don't know how that's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. We did literally crucify a Korok earlier. He might be pissed. There's a series of islands there that are just at the top of the mountain. I kinda wanna climb that and just get up there. Problem is I don't know where realistically I'll have to go to find the rest of the treasure. Catch you guys with 200 bits. It was me, Barry. I was the master sword. <laughs> My god. Okay, I mean, I can try it. Maybe, maybe I have some shock resistant food I can make. That might increase my survivability here. I want to explore the thundercloud, then I want to get more tears. We've made a sizable dent in the game as well. Like, look at the map and how much we've actually uncovered. We, we are gradually making progress, gang. Look at all that. Now, same cannot be said of the underground. <laughs> but, it's something. Portable pop. Increasing attack power during thunderstorms. Uh, I want something that gives me thunder resistance. 
Maybe just like a key swing? And like a horn? Test it. No. That's, that's not helped our case. Uh, Night Song, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey Dan, I've been really enjoying the playthrough and just the content in general. It's been awesome watching you have so much fun with this game. Thank you so much. Uh, Orca gives 200 bits as well and says the Ulster Cricket Club was an Irish cricket club based in uh, Ballynafay, Belfast. Formed in 1873, it was one of the leading Irish cricket clubs in the Victorian period, but went out of existence in 1931. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Oh, that only cooks once. Oh, that's- what a rubbish cooking pot. That only cooks once. That sucks. Alright, let's just go to the stable real quick. Keep in mind you have like 40 of them though. Yeah, but like, what? Like, why don't I just go to a cooking pot, you know? You can fast travel any at any time. This seems rubbish. It's like now the, the filler capsule reward. Ario is still alive. Ario has been like left at the bridge. <laughs> Quite some time. He's doing okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna solve this one real quick. Hang on. You scared me! <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'll help you out. Wait! Thought you could get away. Okay. Uh, electricity food. The electricity resistance. I don't know if I have anything like that. I have shock fruit. That grants attack power during a thunderstorm. Enhances swim speed. A single vault fruit. Is that really all I have? Look at what a golden apple. Sure. Oh, what a stroke of luck. We got the positive outcome. That that gives us a whole three minutes of shock resistance. Okay, that's it's not great. Do I have any kind of mushroom? Uh, I don't- I don't really have much. Do a big hearty radish. Always a good one. Mighty Thistle. Sunderlion. Increases electricity resistance. Okay. Uh, what's a good recipe for this chat? What do we wanna- what do we wanna compliment it with? Just salt? Put it in with meat, okay. That's pretty good. Okay, we, we have more means to survive now.
pretty good. Um, is there anything else that I need at the moment? I don't have a lot of cold resistance stuff left. I have to just, uh, mash some peppers together. Stock up on supplies a little bit. We do have quite a bit. We have all our stamina stuff. Gloom resist. A lot of gloom stuff. We have a lot of full heals in that. It might be good to get a few more full heals. I have like two radishes. This one's always good. Get another stamina meal. Just... Just... So many drumsticks. Meat skewer. I <laughs> need Lost him. <laughs> He's just... We can't hear him anymore. <laughs> Signal has been lost. I hope your friend is Lucifer. <laughs> we buried that man in the ground. We just straight up buried him. Okay, I think we have enough shock resist. We might we might be okay. Um getting into here. He's a pen to consume. <laughs> we lost another one, boys. Like we try we tried to help him find his friend. Find his friend in the great beyond. I haven't saved it in a while, so I'm just gonna get one of these in too. Okay, so armor wise, shock resistance might be nice here. Uh, not metal armor. Not a metal bow. So, like, we can equip, like, something like that. It's a construct bow. Every shield I has, have is made of metal at the moment. No, the rocket shield's not. Weirdly. Just don't equip a weapon. <laughs> just don't. Yeah, just don't. Just don't equip any tools. That's a save as well. I know the composite, the, the construct bow is safe. Yeah, the real danger is just entering the cloud. More than anything else, because I don't know where I'm gonna come out here. No idea how close we are. Like, I, I can't see. Okay, there is an island. Which I've now lost sight of. Okay, and the game is gonna tell me now, hey, you wanna be careful here. We do have some equipment that we can actually pop on. That will keep us safe. So we're fine. Oh, this is this is horrible. Okay, I can see a ledge. Hang on. Okay, but it's raining. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> Oh, 
And maybe it won't get us. And now the weather is not going to clear up here. I have slip resistance. I think we need to drink this. We're going to sacrifice the shock resistance. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh! Okay, it doesn't make you immune to slipping. Okay, we're on. Holy shit. <laughs> I just can't see. And there's like those edges to everything. We just gotta kind of feel it out. I'm worried I'm just gonna get like randomly struck by lightning. <laughs> Try a bright seed. Will that help you? Not a bad idea. Holy shit! <laughs> Game! I really can't tell where I'm going. Most we get is the occasional flash. Then you have the glow miner's hat. I, I don't know if glow is going to help me. <laughs> Only a little. Okay, that's the edge. Like, there's a shooting star down there. How do we navigate this? I need like a flash so I can see. Hoping maybe I can glitch it with a flash or something. There's this pat over there. Ultra hand. Ultra hand does help. Thank you. Okay, we've got like infrared. Intel get. I mean, the main issue is I still have no idea which way I'm supposed to be going. Maybe there's something above me? No. In the middle, I mean, I can see the lamps. <laughs> Fall in the water. That's just ruins. Like, that's just a little pond.
There must be a way to stop the storm or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of for navigating this. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, there could just... There could be another island just nearby. But, I mean, I would not be able to see. Rocket up. I mean, I don't know if there's anything there. The map does not help us. Wait! Hang on, it does! You just gotta look really closely for some reason. Okay. I mean, there's something over there. I am, in theory, above something. I don't know if there's anything else below me. There's something over there. I could just try fly to him. Don't do this in a thunderstorm. See a little bit more of where I am. I, I think there's a pot there, but it's really hard to see. You can see the rain kind of outlining stuff. The thing is, I don't know if I need to take that because there's another pot. There's something there, see? There's not a ledge there. That went all the way down. It's not a safe path. That is a metal box. Path back up there. Where your man's weapons fell. Don't think there's anything else down on this one. Just gotta go slow. It's really treacherous. Send back up. Use the metal box for safety. Yeah, what what could possibly go wrong? Am I somewhere higher up? I can't tell. You can see there's something over there. Yeah. 
God, the rocket does not conduct the lightning. I can see shit over there. Easy does it. Oh my god, why do you hit so hard? Holy shit. He had a big stick. Like a little house here. House is a little worse for wear. <laughs> Hard area to explore. Um, I gotta drop something. I drop something for this, surely. I get rid of the ruby staff. I I have the spear, which has the fire effect. Feels wrong, but now nah, get rid of this. We, we were using that before. Don't drop it here. <laughs> I just realized. I can't go back in there. This is so hard to navigate. But there's gotta be something in here, doesn't there? Probably is some way to clear the storm, but I, I don't know what that is. I can see a massive structure over there. You can see bits of them, can't you? You really gotta squint. <laughs> like. I'm gonna wait for it to be sunny. I don't think it gets sunny in the Thunderhead Isles. I'm gonna be honest with you. I could just try and like YOLO rocket over that one. Seems like there's something there. Gotta do at least one YOLO rocket. Otherwise I think it's worth what well, It might just be better to come back here when I have like something that helps more. There might be even a secret on the on the below world or something to like, hey, you cleared the thunder, you know. We're going somewhere, gang! <laughs> okay, that was... Oh yeah, we made it! You know, it's a ton to resist, but we have to take it off. We're gonna need to climb in here. Oh. 
Gotta remember how to pace this. We good? Oh, Jesus. Slow going. Infrared. Not seriously suggesting I construct something here, are you? We gotta find a shrine in here. Yeah, that would be the that would be nice. It might. It might honestly be po impossible. Uh. Game. It's chill. Can I maybe work out what it's even suggesting me to construct here? It's just giving me boxes. And a metal cube. Pop that in there. Get that away. Can we see on the map? On the other side, there should be a path in theory. Now let's see what this does. Oh yeah, there's stairs here. It's suggesting I make a bridge. Okay. It just, it just gotta work away. Don't mind the treacherous conditions here. It's all gonna be a-okay. Move this around. The fish are alarmingly dead. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about it. the stairs go, yeah. Here they are. I'm just gonna wait for the lightning to strike. This is really anxiety inducing, isn't it? Like, it's. We don't even know where we are. I hope that holds! <laughs> I have, I can use this bow on him. This one we want to just keep for as long as we can. What I can do, not a rocket. I can use some key side balls.
<laughs> he made me drop my bow. <laughs> it's so hard to fight him like this. Is this Silent Hill? <laughs> I mean, it's giving me that vibe. Got him. That's another Topaz magic rod. We have so much of this equipment that, like, I don't even have space. I don't even have space to take this. Okay, infrared. Has been engaged. I feel like I'm going the right direction because it's given me the um these gates. As time goes on, but it's, it's really hard to work out. <laughs> There's enemies over there again. How many rockets do you think it's gonna take to get through here? <laughs> also, flying headfirst into enemies is not not that safe. There are obvious problems associated with this plan. An adventure. Low visibility. I'm gonna be real cheeky here. I'm gonna get as far as I can. Why do you all hit so hard? I'll need that one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the lightning just hit the platform we were standing next to. Strong Zonite longsword. I think we treat ourselves to this. No, no, we need we need a one-hander. Have to be careful getting through here. Okay. I can see a combat arena here, but I don't- I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Infrared go. Ow! that. Finish him with that. Ah, oh, God. Hey, gang. Um, where do we go from here? We're quite far in at this point.
I think I want to go home. This is so dangerous. <laughs> I think there probably is something that clears the, like the storm. I don't think I want to keep going. Like we braved it far enough. Like I, I don't. I, if there's a shrine or something, that would be great. You need to talk to the Greybeards to get the the show. Does anyone see a shrine? The thing is, I feel like because of how far I've come, I feel like I'm close to one. There's a Korok somewhere. Oh my god. Like structure there, structure there. Oh god. Uh, he, he's just off the edge. Get him gone. Mighty Construct Bow. I mean, that seems better than a regular Construct Bow. Is there something down here? There's just a hole. Still can't see anything. Is that an electrical generator? Can I hit this with electricity? Did it, you got the treasure. <laughs> An old map, sure. <laughs> we'll find an opal here. Let's stash it away. For some reason, looking up here, I can see perfectly fine. At least I can work out if there's something above me. Okay, now what way do we go? There's another enemy over there. That feels significantly further away. That's a boss. That's one of the constructs. That one's not moving. 
That's the arena. I don't think I'm gonna make that in one go. I don't know if I'm gonna make that in one go. I'm also kind of terrified of fighting him because he's like a metal box and it's like a thunderstorm. Can I do it with a rocket? Aw, oh, Monty, thank you for the raid. How's it going? You had a good stream. <laughs> You're welcome to... Poor visibility. I don't know if I can reach that. That might be too high. I feel like I'm slightly above it. This is madness. <laughs> this is... I'm not going to be able to see him. Wait, how do I actually fight this guy? <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Armor? I don't know where he is. For red vision. He's moving, he's in the middle. Oh my god! There's something metallic on the ground, he dropped it. Almost all of my equipment conducts the lightning by this sword. How do I get him? Okay, I've got I've got one idea. I've got just one idea. Hang on. I gotta recall the block. This is dangerous though.
can't see him! <laughs> He got him! Good man, Tulin! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! I am trying, guys. This is really hard, though. I just need to see him. Just hit him! <sighs> Fucking hell. That was so hard. <laughs> Off the stage, I fell off the stage fighting them. Oh, my God! Give me that. Where's the goddamn shrine? There was a chest? You don't think the object being struck is... Okay, real quick. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. There's ledges up there. I'm praying that the shrine is just there. Somewhere. That was so unbelievably hard. It seems like the storm is clearing up a little bit, at least when you look up. Are we almost out of it? There's a railway. That was, that was so hard. <laughs> uh, take out the vice. 
We fought a boss in the dark. We fought a boss pretty much blind now as well. Oh no. Okay, now this is this is just a problem. Cause that's gonna be slippy, ain't it? You have an elixir. I don't have a like a don't slip elixir. No. No, I don't. This will be a good time for the frog armor. We're so close to it as well. I think that's where, like, the shrine is just up there. I think. That's not going to be enough stamina to get up the wall. <laughs> it's getting a bit worse. I think we retreat. I think we retreat because it, it's there's too much risk. We don't know where there's even land anymore. Yep. Make an elixir. Yeah, sure. Let me just whip out my cooking pot. <laughs> Hang on for one second as well. Can you ascend? No, not not if you're hanging on to a ledge. I, there, there needs to be a ledge below me, but there there is probably no ledge below me. It's impossible to see anything. Is the problem? I could try blind gl blindly glide back to the arena, but we're gonna have the same problem. I don't think I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna leave it. That's a valiant effort, though. That's a valiant effort. We got- we beat a boss in a thunderstorm. Completely blind. Yep. No, I'm going back. I'm caught. I'm- I'm- I'm not gonna die. This is- this is how I will die. We have done enough. There's land beneath- yeah, it's called the fucking ground. That's how we die. Yep. We're gonna- we're gonna retreat from there. Making the call. Making the call. It's just, this is too dangerous. <laughs> I think we did pretty well. Coward! Hang on. You're calling me a coward. After fighting, like, Minecraft Steve Golem Man. Completely blind to the extent I fell off the combat arena and still got back up and killed him Like I know it's no Genshin Impact, right? I know you're majorly upset if you put in the L there. You know, it's no it's not Genshin Impact, you know. Your favorite game, I'm sure. <laughs> no, we we did pretty good. We did pretty good. I'm happy with that. 
That was insane. It was such a hard fight. Like, I, I physically just could not see the boss for half of that. And we had to, like, work... It was like a pinpoint precision boss where you have to find his core. Yeah, there's a quest probably to clear that somewhere. I simply have to go and find that. I imagine that's not how you're supposed to do that dungeon. Or that shrine, even. My god. That was so intense. Okay, how do- can I just tell... her that it's like, hey... I know where Zelda is, she's turned into a dragon. You just gotta believe me, bro. God. Okay. Uh, we can get more Tears of the Kingdom. We can pick up, like, two more over here. How many do I have total? Like, one, two, three, four, five... I only have six, really? Okay, well, seven and eight are over here. We can go try and get them. How many things do I have for the... Gliok as well. I don't- I don't have enough ice. I have a plan to actually beat the Gliok using basically, uh, like, my plan is a cannon battery. But I need more eyeballs so I can end, like, Lionel bows. It's like the main limiting components, and then I think I can actually do it. I think I might actually be able to beat him. I also need to upgrade my damn armor. Pestu is on the move. Hearing something from the well. The new well, also neat. Oh, this is the well enthusiast. He set up camp here. Oh, I found some more wells. There's 42 left to find. If only it was a tool of some kind. Huh? I'm gonna get the well, like, locator device. The final power-up. Probably the Korok you dropped came down. Oh no. Up in here, a little bit of treasure, sure. I can let a claymore. Let's spruce that up with something nice. Oh god. Where my fellow well enthusiasts at? I I put up I'm I'm got it, I didn't find the shrine, right? But like that that would just be how I die. Like, it was already so dangerous and treacherous. I had to use all my stamina food for it. I'm gonna see if I can craft some more now that I'm here. We were burning true resources. You, you gotta make the call at some point. But I think we gave it a, a damn good effort. Um, toss in some of those. We can do the ultimate mighty banana. Tack up four minutes. Like the maximum. Try a truffle, but we add the secret ingredient ingredient, that's salt. Then fact. And a few more bits. I just need some more full heals. Like, we burned through so many supplies in that run. Yeah, 
Got some full heals back. Got some general purpose food. I should probably make some more general purpose food. Behold, salt. Let's cook it all up. What if you had a golden apple with a truffle? I don't know. I don't know what the golden apple really does. I don't know if I should be cooking these or not. Does it always make it so it's like the bonus effect? That's happened twice. That wasn't that good. That wasn't that good. Yeah, it, se it seems to have some kind of effect like that. I need these for staying cool. We had, we had this problem. We had this problem before with the dragon. We should probably make some of these. Let's have them handy. Can't carry any more meals? Okay, that's alright. Okay, fair bit. We're stocked up. We have food. We have means to survive. Looking good. You do one more stable quest. I think I'm one off getting a piece of froggy armor. Yeah, like I I could get that and then like for next time whenever I go back there next time. Might be handy. I mean I reckon there's like a secret for the thunder stuff. Like it's probably even in here. There's a shrine puzzle about this guy before. There's like a secret there. It'll be worth checking that. Do we just check it now? No, I I, I want to get the tear drones. Honestly, I want to figure out how to get into the damn Korok forest. The only idea I can think of is going down below and somehow there's a path. But like, we've never really had that, so I don't know if that's even like a worthwhile consideration. I mean, maybe, we haven't been in the de- in the- Actually, well, we've been in the depths quite a bit today, actually. I could try it. I could try it, there's like a hole here. Probably involves launching a Korok into the forest. I do want to get those other tiers too. But I feel like maybe we spend a bit more time in the areas that we have mapped before we go somewhere new. Cause like, we've actually like, quite thoroughly combed a lot of this now. Well, kinda. There's a lot to discover in this game. Okay, this way. I need to find goddamn sticky frogs. You're sorely lacking them. Uh, I'm trying to work out what's even going on here for myself. Here? Oh, there is a hole there. Yeah, this is right. Hang on. It's just... Come on. Go on. You can do it. I believe. If you try putting glue on regular frogs, I don't think that's it somehow. I'd be shocked. We have to investigate every dragon and just double check and just be like, Zelda? Is that you? <laughs> like, it's another thing now that's like on the to-do list. Oh, this guy looks quite important. He's got a fearsome stick, watch out. 
Good man, Tulin. Jeez, he's strong. This is like the strongest one that we've ever fought. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's got to give something good. Soldier Construct Fourhorn. Yeah, this is, this is like the, the top commander or something. Get a gnarled long stick if I want to. Don't think I need that at the moment. So much equipment. Oh, I can't really just hop over there, can I? Yeah, maybe I can. Be cheeky. Oh, don't be don't be slipping again. I'm hoping this is enough. Yeah, there we go. Cause you go kind of horizontal. Frostic. I didn't even think about using that in the the tire. Alright, next time. Okay, we're gonna see if we can hop under Korok Forest. Just to see if there's anything there. I don't know, like we've never we've never tried like reach the surface from down below. I, I, I real, uh, realistically, I don't even know if that's going to work. But I also don't know how to actually get into the forest. The reason I'm doing this is because I never know if there's just a ledge directly below me. <laughs> like, there, there could just be like a tree branch and then it's like, game decides, you're dead, lol. Okay, welcome back to the depths. Such an impressive atmosphere for a Zelda game too. Like, the only thing I can think of is like maybe the Silent Realm in Skyward Sword. That was kind of creepy. Oh, there's something over there. Okay, but the question is, hang on. So on the map, like here is under the forest. We want to try and get over there. This will be on the way. Okay, let's get our get our glow armor on too. I'm not gonna wear the full set just because it gives me more armor with the hat. I'm also deadly afraid that there's gonna be like another cold air or something. That just like ambushes us while we're walking. Depths just scare me. <laughs> like, is the real Subnautica vibe? Because you don't know what's above you now. That just makes me really uneasy. <laughs> My. God, what do I do? He's got a cannon. At unlimited energy, it seems. Okay, when in doubt, rocket. I 
just fly all the way around. That might have been a mistake. Get him out of the car. He's got a tank. How have the Yuga clan even done this? What even is that device in front of the cannon? Well, this is our vehicle now. Taking this one. Here. Under the Colosseum ruins on the surface, an imposing building similar to that same Colosseum has been discovered. Reports that as many as six such structures exist in the depths. There's one in the deepest depths below the Korok forest near here. There are rumors of eerie growls coming from inside. A courageous team member went to test her metal. We haven't heard from them in quite a while. We hope they are safe. Oh god. Okay. A bit unsettling. I'll take that. Oh, I had enough for a battery this whole time. You get schematic. It's like you can use auto build to store schematics and then build from them. An aerial cannon? Sure. That might be handy. I mean, that's part of the idea I had for fighting the dragon. So that's that's perfect. We could use that. How do I march on? We got some supplies here. Spotlights and more cannons. I don't know if I want to... No, I mean, that's, that's on its last legs. <laughs> Crucially, there's rockets. I'm wondering if I just catapult this. No, I, d I don't think that's going to work. Take the tank with you. I am not entirely sure how. Other than just my work in theory of... Have you put a rocket on it? Which is like, not ideal. It's not ideal. It seems like it'd be easier to navigate that wall by just climbing it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna register this in my history. Um, just by just putting a rocket on it somewhere. So now it's there. Wait, hang on. No, this is good. Okay, hang on. All right, let's see. Is the rocket going to be enough to carry this? <laughs> no. No, it's really not. It's way too heavy, but we also have that extra stamina wheel. We can just get climbing this. Hopefully, reverse it. Gulen is like, I'm, re I'm ready to go. Say the word. 
Got ya. Hang on. Rocky outcrop. Uh, we might need to climb and shirt from here. Like the hell. I don't even see a seed here. I think this might be the top of the cavern. Yeah, okay. Problem. It's getting down from here. Can't fucking see. It's so dark. I'm kind of just hoping I come into contact with something. This rock wall. This is surrounding the Korok forest, isn't it? So if there's an entrance, it's here somewhere. Okay, right, that actually is quite good to know, though. If I had to guess, is the entrance just going to be, like, the same where it is? Is there going to be, like, a narrow point there? Maybe. It's possible. I mean, it could be. Yeah, let's, uh... See if we can go back and even just find the tank. Yep. Okay. Bad start for the tank, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Get it out of this ditch. Um, so I need to drive this around the forest, I think. I think this is- I think I might be right here. This might be the way to get in. At the very least, we get to explore and maybe... By doing this, we'll discover a seed here. Fair enough, that, that, that's the seed. The one that corresponds. Oh my... Okay, so the, the, the cannon strat is absolutely going to work. The cat, like, that, this is going to defeat the dragon. There's, there's, there's no way it won't. Not mean to just blow everything away. Well, that's really good to know. Main problem is just getting the tank. Cross. Oh, it's one of them. Thanks, Tulin. Get up. Yeah. Go. Just a branch. Lumaru's all extra hearts too. Yeah, I, I, that was actually kind of scary. Quite hard. Gotta be careful. To say as I'm immediately taking extra damage. A tank? A 
animation. Is there a light here, maybe? It's only time bombs. What is this? I don't know. Hovercraft? I don't think so. It's upside down, is it? Oh wait, no, I see what's going on. You give them power and they just stay afloat. Okay. Oh! There's, there's quite a bit here, but like... I think we just kind of carry on with our tank. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop like a seed on the tank itself too, so I can actually see a bit better. That'll be a bad idea. Um, I think the Knight's Claymore intact condition is probably better than this. Because this is actually pristine. Alright, let me... Get a seed. I type. Hang on. By type. It's such an awkward input for this because you have to like hold a button, use the right thumbstick, hold up on the D-pad. Where was it again? I'm I'm rubbish at finding these. The way most used. I'm looking I'm looking for a big one. So I haven't actually used that. God almighty, where is it? Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> hey, hop on, hop on! Hop on! Hop on, hop on! Shit! Shit! <laughs> that was all a disaster. <laughs> My god, Link, make the jump! Make the jump! Oh. There we go. Yeah, let's just regain control of our car. Alright, and we're making it to the next camp. What is that? Traveler Spear. We, we have better than that. Right, we can stop off here. Get this activated, which should give us a little bit of light. I was right, that's the wall. Look at that. Yeah, so that's what I think. If we go all the way around, we'll be able to get through. The question is if we will actually be able to get back to the surface. You've yet to try that. Although, here might even be a good point to test if that's possible. There's a tower here. If I get under this. 
Question, I, I, this is gonna be saved, like, this isn't gonna just disappear if I leave, is it? I've got to put the parking brake on. Made he spawn. I, okay, I'm gonna just chance it anyway. I wanna see if this is actually a way back to the surface. I think it is. This is what we're looking for, so it is possible, I think. There's very marked points. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Is not quite where I was expecting to pop up, but we can we can just pop back then. We we don't we don't need to get out here. But it works. It works. So that's what we're looking for. But inside the Korok forest, we know it works now. Let's go. Cool. Yep, so that's probably how we're going to get into this place. Oh, what an adventure it's been. I just feel like I've said that every every stream, but like it really has been. Done so much. Just trying to find our way in this world. It's giving me the means to, uh, explain, I think. Yeah, we can do. I know we've got the hot air balloon too, but I think this one's gonna be a little better. In my opinion because you can you can actually rest this one as you go okay so we're still we're still trying to get around straight up just lava starting to leak too so what keep an eye out for that I mean we're near the volcano had a lamp to it again okay hang on Wait, no, if I... <laughs> Can I take off from here? Okay. Just making sure. I'm making that mistake again. Okay, and as ever, the addition of a single rocket um, you can get off the ground. All it takes. <laughs> Trying to, like, find a way world where I dodge that tree. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just carry it a mo and just move around it. Probably safer. And now the only fear really is that pocket of lava. Do not touch that. Touch that, we're in trouble. Okay. okay, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that right as we're taking off. Oh my... God, look at this place under the mountain. He's in the nether. The air burns. This is the fire temple. Wait, we're just here.
Wait, this, this is this is just the next temple. We haven't done any of the story. The air is burning. Yeah, I mean, I I can I can drink a potion. No, that that's not going to do it. It's not enough. I have heat resist. Well, if I drink that, then I lose that. Okay, I I got I gotta get out of here. Holy shit! Like this is the actual dungeon. It's just here. Okay, I I have to turn around though, because I'm actually going to die. I'm too close to it. Okay, we have to find a different way around. We just found it. It's just under there. <laughs> Teleport. We have one. It's here. Okay, well, shit. Alright, well, we got... Okay, the only other way I can think of is maybe if I hug the wall enough. And just steer clear. That's the only other thing I can think of. We just found the next dungeon. But we're gonna have to do that one next then. We'll see what's going on with the Gorons. I didn't expect it to just be down here. I'm just trying to find the Korok. Here's the sneaky stairs. To get around Mordor. That's just there. Yeah. And we still oh, get off it, Link. It's absolutely trapped. Step back. Okay, this is going to be really problematic, but I think there is a way around. We just have to keep our distance. It's instant. It's just instant, so we can't... We're gonna have to go another way around. It is too much lava. We're gonna have to come at it from the other side. Which sucks, because we're so far around. I just didn't expect it to be a goddamn t t dungeon. This is my sign to help the Gorons, yes. No, it absolutely is. What's even the fastest way for me to get around? Is there just a pit somewhere? If there's like a pit here, that would be perfect. There might just be one here above ground. Does it just kill you instantly? Can you outheal it? I you catch on fire, I believe, and then your health just starts like evaporating. 
We're not gonna- we're not gonna find out. <laughs> How much can I really spontaneously combust before it's bad? Is basically the question you're asking. Um, and I- I don't think- I don't think that's something we should explore. Oh, God almighty. Oh, we can actually get Ario again. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay. Right, so we're looking for... Pit... That takes us into hell. Oh, oh. Ario is actually here. My god. Oh. Yeah. Go back to Custard, please. No, no, no one... No one even remembers who Custard was. Yeah. Don't, you're not getting another burb situation again, right? We're not having this. Yeah. None of this. We are looking for yeah. is a way to get down into hell. Yeah. Need to explore the depths oh. again. Yeah. Uh, perfect. There's a pit just right here. Oh, that's so much easier. How did that not get marked on our map before? Hurry up! Hurry up! Yeah, just stop there. Oh, the not quite Minish. Min Shi. Oh, it's Chasm. Huh. There we go. I hope I don't just spontaneously combust by doing this. I think that would be a bit cruel. It's like, you shouldn't have jumped. Okay, so we're trying to head towards the green light. But that is probably, yep, yeah, that's where we want to get. The That's inside the place. Fleshy interior, my <laughs> beloved. There's been so many. Yeah. You know that Dark Souls 3 boss where it's like the skeletal giant and you only see him after you turn on the light? That's my biggest fear. Like, every time I throw one of these, there's just gonna be like a Lionel. Like, an inch from my face. I can't believe the fire temple is just there. It's not even that well hidden. Like it's so it's so lit up, like yeah, of course you'd find it. If this is the way in. You can see the partition in the rock. Okay, so we have to try and find our way back up. Don't feel safe. It also does indicate there's gonna be shrines in the forest itself too, which is good for us. I wanna see what's happening there, because like I Did Zelda put the Master Sword back? Yeah. 
Like, I don't know. It, it could just be here again. It's really hard to tell. That's what we need. That's perfect. That's the pat back up. Okay, time to play a very elaborate game of hopscotch. Oh, I'm not good at hopscotch. Oh, no. Okay, I have a defense. My God. I do not know what to do. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances with the diminished hearts. Did I glitch them? <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, you just have to fight him again. He's immune. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't- I don't know how I fight him. He's so strong! What have I got that might give me an edge? <laughs> okay, take- take a step back, Link. Gotta calm- gotta calm down now. Not, he's not messing around. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell! Thank God I have like so much for dinner. Trying to time the dodge on that. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, why? <laughs> Get him to it. <laughs> oh, thank God. Why are you down here? Gloom sword. Another demon king's bow. Actually terrifying. Jesus. You must spawn after the hands. Yeah, that, that seems to be the... Ooh! Wrong item to throw. That seems to be the trigger for it. I think if the hands spawn, I think I just want to get ahead of there. I don't know if that's even worth it. Oh god, this is the forest. I remember this guy, you put like a boulder in his mouth and you got like a... ...Borok or something. There's a few of them, yeah, you can see them from Lost Woods, like they're here. They're all dead down here. At least we don't have to solve like the mystery of the woods or anything here. We can kind of just beeline to the objective. Mint condition forest dweller spear. I'll take it. How much does this... Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. How much does this actually hurt me? Because I'm wondering if this is like a worthwhile weapon to keep. Is it one heart at a time? One heart each hit. That's a lot. I, I don't know if that's worth hanging on to then. Bow seems good, because the bow doesn't have any drawback. A heart a swing is very costly. Especially considering the stakes of our of our playthrough, you know? Gloom resist negate that though. I don't I don't know if it will. Okay, let's mark this off. And then we can head up to the Korok Forest. We know there's like at least two more shrines up here too. We take survivability very seriously here. We do! But we do though! That's the thing! <laughs> I've only stubbed my toe. Okay, up we go. All the way back to the surface. Let's find out what's happening in the Korok virus. It can surface here. Yeah. Deku tree's not looking too good. How do we help him? The Master Sword is not here, so Zelda... Where the fuck did Zelda put it? <laughs> it's not here. 
Everyone seems frozen in place too. I'll do that shrine in a bit, because like we're not gonna get enough for our another upgrade as is right now. Is there anything I can do to help? There's a, there's a path further down. There is a cooking pot as well. Um, we should actually probably avail of this cooking pot. Make some more meals. Uh, we can just make a tomato dish. Uh, that's probably a bit too much tomato. Hey, I, get, I need to make some smaller quantity ones. Like, yeah, like four hearts and that is good. Let's toss some stuff in. Need to make another heat resist mushroom dish. Make a stealth dish. Increases strength. This will increase defense. That might be a good one. Tough mushroom skewer. Get another attack up. Fried greens. Oh, we have so many greens. Dub, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Shrine here, too. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Can I rest here? No, I don't think I can, given the corruption. The world in Breath of the Wild is like, oh god, it's dangerous, like, it's not safe. But you feel a lot more in this game. The world is actually like, kind of, like, really messed up. Try talking to the Deku Tree, maybe. I don't know if I can. I was really delayed on the alerts. Thank you. Thank you once again. Okay, there's only one way to go. I don't have the Decorox. Uh, wait, maybe before we go down to... Uh, taking a moment to get another piece of equipment might not be a bad idea. Hang on. Let's use a ribcage. Let's try it. <laughs> And then on this one... Uh, we will try... Black Moblin Horn. That seems good. There we go. Some equipment there. I need to get more basic swords so I can use my shields as well. I am running out of swords. I have the, the Gloom Sword. But that one kind of scares me. I don't know how I feel about using that. Use it as a top on something. It's not a bad idea. I'll keep. It, I'll just keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. We'll use this up.
Armor, um, yeah, we probably just want that. Okay, can we go to the abyss again? The Deku tree chasm. Don't like this one bit. Okay. All right. I see how it is. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. It's time to use. We worked hard for this pulverizer. Oh, wait, wait. This is a different one. Is it? No, it's, it's, he looks a bit different. No, he's not. I'm done. Keeps doing this. This is gonna be an easy fight. We found the strike gang. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> we got him. Oh, a long stick, my only weakness. Tree is healed. Gorox, I here to congratulate you. <laughs> you did it. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Great Deku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Also, we lost the Master Sword, lol. Sorry about that. The Demon King bows are always good to take because these these just get stronger. And they don't seem to have a downside, do they? Take another one. I, I'm probably not going to use the gloom swords. Is there anything else down here? Fuse two gloom swords. Behold the ultimate <laughs> weapon of your gloom. Incredible. There might be something up here a little bit. Oh, is this just gonna be like the sneaky stairs out? Let's see. No, this is actually this is actually gonna be a way out. See? We guide you to it. can actually kill God. <laughs> that, but that, I think that weapon's gonna cost me two hearts. A swing. Hey, how's it going? 
Oh, they expanded the shop. They have loads more now. Don't mind the deep ravine that's kind of just opened here. Let me buy your arrows, please. I'm so desperately low on them all the time. The forest has been restored. Let me get by these two. Actually, no, they're so expensive. Capitalism is healed, guys. Let's talk to him. Mm. Ah, so it is you. Mm. I apologize, I'm still quite groggy, as though I've been awakened in from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. <laughs> as you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. And sometime since last we spoke. Have you been well? Yes, last time we spoke. It was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. Oh, here's just an additional memory. It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. This must be the first memory. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. Like it's gonna like die from a heart attack. He forgot to invest in the heart containers. Just passes out on the ground. Great Deku Tree. Thank you so much. Ha ha ha. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself. No matter how badly damaged it becomes. So it can do more. What how how we heal it again? The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. The Master Sword. Sorry, I think I nicked it when I was putting it back in the scabbard there. Don't mind that clunk. But the sword. It seemed that you no longer wield it. Where is it gone? What is this then? You don't know what the Master Sword is. I see, yet I can sense it even now. It can be no mistake. It's here? What? He's just gonna... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> he just knows. In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. What could this mean? But, okay, so Zelda still has it. How on earth do we get it? You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you just as you are seeking it. It's moving, so like, Zelda's still got it. <laughs> That's a hell of a profile image. It's straight up just in the sky. I can fast travel here. I mean, that has to be a dragon if it's moving. Yeah, it has to be Zelda. She transformed herself into a dragon at some point. To watch over the Master Sword to give it more power to beat Ganon? Is that why she did it? That's her! That's her, that's a different dragon. Oh, it's very cold, hang on. 
He's got the shivers. Hang on. Hey, okay, well, you know what we gotta do. Game, please. She's just here. Holy shit, it's in her head. Okay, now I don't know if I have enough help for this though. I know how this worked before. Do I have enough heart pieces? I I have no idea. Grab. <laughs> oh, good lord. It's stamina, it's not hard at all! Are we gonna have enough? Oh, she's pissed. Like, you already took my sweater, you're not having the sword as well! Is it going to be exactly two? <laughs> we got it. I think we could- She just took us to heaven too, apparently. We're just gone. Just gently let's go. We we just have it. I can't believe we just got the master sword. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it. Yeah, it's really clipping. Link. Yeah, pick the bad mask. Link. What happens to Zelda now? The Master Sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but... A long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King... You will have...
have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. Brought the Master Sword back, but... Like, is she just stuck as a dragon now? I don't know how we actually save her. I don't know if we can. We have the sword returned. But, like, Zelda's just gone. S stuck like that now. As far as we know. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. This corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the demon king. Now to harvest her scales! Wait, Zelda, come back! She dropped, she dropped us off at the Temple of Time. That's the last memory. It doesn't say how much attack it has. You can fuse it with stuff. Do I have to worry about durability for the Master Sword still? Does it like still need to recharge and stuff? I don't know how it works. Yeah, so it still needs to recharge. It's not just gonna break again, is it? I can't believe we just got that tonight. Do I actually need to harvest parts from Zelda? Because I'm gonna be honest, that's a bit fucked. If that's the case. Yeah, I do. Oh, no. Okay, well, I mean, there's only one thing I could I could think of potentially fusing the Master Sword with. Um, and that is, of course... We, got, we gotta make it, like, Minecraft Diamond Sword. Wait, what happened there? It's gone. It's infused with the diamond. Oh, okay, right. It gets like ruins. It was absorbed. And it summons it when you swing. An enchanted diamond sword. I don't know how we actually help Zelda if we even can. I don't know if there's anything we can do. Like, she might be just gone. Maybe that's something we can work out with Impa. We're gonna have to find out. Okay. Well, we got the Master Sword tonight. I think that's a good point. Uh, to leave it. But. Line that up, maybe get a cheeky thumbnail out of that later. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, though, folks. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. We're gonna leave it there. We got very sidetracked, but hey, we got the Master Sword, so it works out. 
That's crazy. I... I don't know what we do from here. We have to go, we have to get to the fire temple. We still have to get the powers of the sages. I mean, that's probably the next step. We still have some shrines to do too. A little more exploring of the Korok forest probably is in order. Yeah, we have to get our memories back. I need to find goddamn sticky frogs to upgrade my gear. I'm gonna work hard on that, I think, maybe before uh, Saturday. Playing in my off time, I'm just gonna try and find some more upgrade materials. I'll see what I can just realistically get, and then just go from there. I think that's maybe the best way to do it. I can't find the damn frogs. I can't find them anywhere. And no one knows too, because the game's new. Ah. Yeah, that was wild. That's... That's not quite what I expected. Some huge plot points though. Oh, God. Hey, who are we gonna raid tonight? Um... There's a few people outside the stream. Yeah, I'll just leave you in Kelly's care again. She's just er she's earlier in the game. Do not spoil it for her, please. That would be mean. It'd be very mean. Please no spoilers, okay? Especially because we had so, like big plot moments tonight, okay? Be on your best behavior. But yeah, uh, thanks for coming tonight, folks. I'll be back on Saturday, and we'll figure out what's happening here. I might start a little earlier on Saturday. Just because I really want to play. <laughs> well, I might start like an hour or two earlier than like the usual stream time, but I'll be live on Saturday anyway. Uh, have a good night. Take care.